Live. What up, world? It's your boy Ace Boogie. Yo, and it's the dude Lil Arby Dot Com. And we got special guests with us today. Mel, please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Sasha, aka Blue Frame Girl. Huh. Um, make sure guys y'all check out Facebook, Radioactive Podcast, three separate words, Instagram at radioactive underscore podcast, and the YouTube at radioactive podcast, three separate words. All right. Already. So Miss Sasha, how are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> what you so what did you do today? Did you what was supposed to be like? <laughs> what was today like? Hmm? Today was lazy Sunday. Lazy Sunday. Yes. Which would have been <laughs> everybody <laughs> tuning in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you are how was your day today? Uh what did I do today? I actually uh I didn't do nothing. Nothing. So my girl got a, my girl just got a grill. A grill? Yes. Yeah, so she went gangsta on you. Yeah, she just went and got a bottle. I shot a video yes like today i'm relaxing i uh we just finished shooting uh well we shot a scene to uh follow it up with red boy yesterday man so, what's up with language done more man you know what i know you're right but that's i'm, I'm waiting for the winter to get it a little more cold we already got it yeah yeah, yeah. you already know language Del more is coming all right <laughs> so explain to us now what is love scenes love scenes mm-hmm. um so love scenes is for well couples and women who want to explore different sexuality, like different desires and things that they want to explore, especially for women who don't feel comfortable in their bodies. Mm -hmm. Um, Also educating women on different things out here, like intimacy, how to masturbate, um, other other things like that. Okay. So, and this comes into a box, right? Into the box? Yeah. Don't open it, just just, let's see. No, open that motherfucker. Not your your camera over there. There we go. Are we gonna open them eventually? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Can you see? Yeah, you yeah. see it. Yeah, perfect. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> so your your official title is a sex consultant, yeah. right? Okay. Mm-hmm. So what all does that entail? Though? So basically, I give people advice and guidance on different bedroom things that they might have questions on, um, and then I help them with whatever <laughs> that is. Um, it can be like men who have like. Um, Problems getting up, yeah. yeah. Let's say problems getting up, or like women who have problems having an orgasm. So you like show a picture of me? Just <laughs> he'll get up right now. <laughs> <laughs> how do you? He let's ask real questions. How do you get into some shit like this? <laughs> yes. Like how do you just be like you know what? I'm pretty good at having sex. Let me go show somebody else how to. What do. does that like? Mean? Is that how it happens? Or how no, you- no. Well, my thought process was I feel comfortable talking about it. Okay. And a lot of people are very squeamish mm-hmm. when it's talking about sex or they want to be very private about it. Mm-hmm. But we all have these issues, right, that no one wants to talk about and then they don't get resolved. Right. So I first started with um, like per romance, you know, doing those little house parties and stuff like that. It's mm-hmm. like Avon, but for sex toys. Mm-hmm. So I started doing that at first. And then I decided like, mm, I think I could do this differently. Like I wanted to touch women differently. Mm-hmm. So... That's not a pun. I just realized what I said. Don't <laughs> want to touch. <laughs> but um, so then, so yeah, so then I did this where I feel like I can have a little more one-on-one with women and I can talk with them a little better. Can I see one? And Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So what's, what's like, vibe right? with them better. That's heavy. It is heavy. What's, what's, the reaction, yeah. what's the reaction of most people when you tell them this? About the box? No, no, about you being a About session. what I do? Mm-hmm. Um... First, our eyes get really big, mm-hmm. right? And then usually, like when I've done when I've done different network events or done speaking, mm-hmm. I usually get people to pull me to the side and be like, "I have questions," yeah, or "I need this," or "I need help." So um, I actually get a lot of people to come and and pull me to the side when I. So you're a professional sex maker, I, or I wouldn't say I'm professional. I just feel like I'm comfortable in it. I've mm-hmm. done a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I just want to help people explore that nasty side. Like, it's okay. Don't let society tell you it's not. So why are people so shy and timid and they want to pull you to the side? Why do you think people are like Because that? we had a stigma that, like, if I do a certain thing, then I'm a hoe, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Or um, I haven't had a... You don't that? <laughs> you don't think? Okay, so I had, a, I had a female tell me, like, she did some oh, she did some sloppy sloppy head, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then oh, good. Okay, let's go. her <laughs> her in <laughs> 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 Oh. So she she got a, he got upset kind of thing. Like he was like, Well, like where you learn this from? Like, 
I can't be the first person who did this, mm -hmm. you know? And mm -hmm. then that shoots her down. Like she kind of felt like, yeah. uh, you know what I'm saying? So, Easy talk. Um, <laughs> 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 so no, I, um, just trying to help, help women feel confident and be okay. with if you like sucking dick for your pleasure, then be okay in that. Do you help men too? Know. Like do men come? Yes. So how do you, how would, how would you help a man though? Yeah. So How would you help? I've helped men as far you as you can only really help by demonstrating. <laughs> <laughs> How else would you be? Because he doesn't feel, he doesn't have what a woman has. So he would be like, but the men, the men that usually come to me are is, is either they can't stay up for okay. whatever reason, or they would like to introduce either threesome to their significant other or whoever they're what? having sex with. So you can help with that. <laughs> you can put that together. Right. And then, it. I have. Oh, woo, woo. We call for that. Right. <laughs> okay, you're like, you're like, you're like, you're like, you're an idiot. Female version. You're stupid. Okay. <laughs> and then I've had the other one is how to introduce like more nastier things. Like they want their their female person to just be more nastier. So those are usually the three things. As so far give as us an example know. of what you say to those three. Like if a an example of each one of those things. Okay, a man came so up and said this, this, and this. Like, if, what it's you if it's nastier, then I usually ask, like, well, that's a various question. So I usually ask, like, well, what is she comfortable with? What have you done? That kind of thing, and kind of dig into that. Mm -hmm. And then introduce, like, well, let's try this and baby step it. Now, are, are there toys involved when you're saying, like, yeah, you got to hit it like this and you got to do it this way? Are you just I talking? Have. No, I do. So like, depending on, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Demonstrate. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, like, do no, you demonstrate? I'm depending on what toy, because some toys get a little complicated. And some people don't, they've never experienced Well, I toys. mean, when I think of it, I would think that if I was consulting, right, you would mm -hmm. have like one of them fake pussies, right? Right. And then like a fake dick. A mm -hmm. Right. And then you'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah this is yeah, yeah. Like, when I think of like a sex but that's, 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 what I would that's so for some people I have to do that because they're visual, right? Mm -hmm. So for some people I have to go like and show I'm visual. I, I want to see. Okay. So <laughs> do men treat so, you different? Like do men do men treat you differently knowing that you in my personal life? Yeah. Personal. Hell no, nah, huh? Fuck no, they all on you. Hell no, for sure. They be like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I kind of have to like, I usually kind of have to lie, like tell my day job first. And mm -hmm. then I'd be like, so you know, my business is this is then when they that. find out, yeah. they like, oh, like, oh shit. Oh yeah, you know, I'm trying to get a one-on-one -on -one session. Yeah. Uh -huh. and I'm trying to figure this out. Like mm -hmm. you must be some pro. I never said I was a pro. I'm just comfortable in my What about life. eating ass? Like with like do I do I do it as well? Well I'm just like all right. Is, is, is that something that you teach? Yeah. Is that something that you would recommend that person? Like, how do you, that's what I'm saying. Like, what do you tell these men and be like, oh, but, but, like, give me an example of like, if a man came to you and was like, hey, whatever. Okay. I want to get my, I want to get my ass ate. <laughs> what would you say? No. Or I want to, or I can't get, whatever. One of your examples, I can't get oh, hard or that, I can't stay that up. one is introducing toys. So that one, that's the, if they want their, significant other to be a little more nastier mm -hmm. right then I, I go into details about toys and things like that if it's getting hard then it's usually like i usually provide like some type of cream or a spray for that because that's mm -hmm. usually like a mental thing mm -hmm. and that's a, a nerve thing that we would have to conquer that's a whole biological thing right. that you can't get up so that's a different conversation mm -hmm. but when it's a threesome oh yeah I mean, what you say to that how you no. introduce it you, you say, you know what? Let me come and show you how it's done. Let, no, but, you know what? Okay. Let me show you first. I'm gonna say, in my younger times, I did I was like, well, you know, I can, you know, yeah. I'll jump in. You're right. And I'll be I'll right. leave her. I'll, 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 I'll talk teacher. to her. You know, mm -hmm. I'll talk to her first and see how she likes it and okay. get her comfortable first. Because it's always about the female. Like for us, we have to be mentally um, aroused first. Like okay. we have to be mentally in it. First. Men do too as well. Do y'all? Men see, I'm gonna I'm be honest. Okay. It's more, it's a stigma that, oh, men just wanna <clears> fuck <throat> and just, nah. Like, men have to be like mentally there as well. It's not just, oh, I'm about to get a heart. Just, so men have to be mentally. But do you think that? Well, I mean, I think with these because women, I feel like it's, it's, it's huge. More men aren't yeah. mental though. They right. are just so like, people. They can see, yeah, they can just see a naked woman and be. Oh, of course, but at the same time, so you ever you ever had someone that's beautiful, mm -hmm. right? And 
uh, let us just like at school. We got people at school, and we can't stand this bitch. Mm-hmm. We want that man, turns we're, off. We punch this so bitch that, in the mouth. The and then some people, I, I'm just saying, I don't know what it is, but let's just say A said, be like, man, I fuck shit out that bitch. And then you're like, bro, I wouldn't even touch that hoe. Like, I beat that hoe. <laughs> like, you get what I'm saying? So it's, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. you get what I'm saying? Men mentally have to be that too because she's beautiful. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I, you, you get what I'm saying? So men also have to, at least me, I'm a player. You feel me? You ain't just going. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you ain't someone get this thing. You ain't gonna get this thing. Fuck with you. <laughs> so what would you say the hardest part about your job is? Mm, that's a good one. Uh, I haven't ran into anything. I mean, you got the easiest oh, job no. ever. The sex, yeah. sex sales, like, I mostly, like exactly. Like, say I've come into anything hard. It's hard in my personal life. It's not yeah. hard business wise. It's yeah. hard personal life wise. What do you mean? What does that mean? I just have a struggle dating. That's all. It's a struggle. Because of your profession? It's a struggle dating. Yes. Why? Why would that? Because it's not like you, you fucking. So why would they have an yeah, issue? Yeah, but it's hard because some men, that's all they want. Like they come for just sex, you know. Mm-hmm. And I want more than that, right? Mm-hmm. And so some some men, of course, they're not gonna stick around mm-hmm. if that's not what they want. So there goes that. And then I mean, I've had like my ex. He was very uncomfortable with my business. He really was uncomfortable with the attention that I got in the men that ask me questions. Even though like I talk to women too and mm-hmm. usually like men that talk to me like it's about business. It's usually like some men are really respectful. Like they come to me strictly about whatever problem that they that they have. Not on some slick shit like, oh yeah, I'm trying to But know, do some, some come at you yeah, yeah, slick yeah. shit. Some do. I'm sure some do. Some do like come real professional slick shit, you know. <laughs> How you know, doing? I have uh, like, a penis? I think, I think, uh, I think uh, on that podcast, Shorty was mm-hmm. looking real good, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you could talk to me later about your little, little love yeah. scene. Hey, yeah. Miss yeah. Love scene. I get yeah. that a lot. Like, yeah. Okay, but, I heard that. Yes, I heard that five minutes ago. Hmm. Yeah. So, what do you want people to to take away from your products? Like, what do you want people to take away from Love Seeds Box? Um, it's not just about sex. Sex comes in different forms. It's intimacy. It's mental. It's physical. It's mm-hmm. everything. Okay. The box isn't just about oh, we just gonna fuck, fuck, fuck. It's mm-hmm. about connecting deeper with that person that you're being with, because, like I said, it's mental, it's physical. You know, things like, um, and people lose that in sex. For whatever reason they lose that intimacy or people think it's just the action sex doesn't always have to be just the action it can be central it can be romantic it mm-hmm. can be rough depending on how you want it so why wouldn't i just go to the next place why do i why do i why should i go to you some people feel uncomfortable going into but they're not teaching you shit at mega plex you just they definitely just... so story i went to i drove in atlanta you know those like little um shops that be on the highway mm-hmm. when you're driving for miles and miles yeah and i went into one of those and got this vibrator and this guy like he had to be like 45 right still lived in his mom's basement type shit and i was like yeah so i want this uh toy whatever and he was just like i mean i think it says it goes 10 speeds like he knew absolutely nothing and it was creepy because it was other trucker drivers there you know and they were all looking at toys and looking at me and i'm looking at him like uh, this is awkward right, it, right, it right. gets awkward and for some female who let's say this is your first time trying to step out there mm-hmm. that's an awkward situation to be in there with a bunch of toys that you have no clue what to do i at least give you instructions help you guide you it's not just here play with it mm-hmm. so. hmm. Do you go shopping like have people say, you know what, like, like let's say I don't know what what shoes to get, and I'd be like, yo, bro, come to the mall with me and help me pick out something. Do like, do you go to like places with them and like you build those shopping? It's weird because it's weird. Like even before my business, I've always been that that go to person. Like Mm -hmm. someone will text me like, hey, Sasha, Sasha, so. I'm got I'm getting ready to do this with this dude. What should I do? Da, da, da. Or hey, hey, I'm about to go to Spencer's. I'm about to buy a new toy. You want to roll with me? Like, help me out. I've I've been, that, I've been that person. Is this like, you charge for this, right? Or is this free consulting? Now I should, but I haven't. Hmm. I just do it because I I love people being happy. I Hell no, sex. You know how much you can pay sex. for sex? sex? That's like and it's like you selling sex without selling sex. sex. Like you get what I'm saying? Like yeah. if that makes any sense. Like you no intercourse, but you still selling sex. Motherfuckers will pay for that. Mm-hmm. And no disrespect to us any race. The white boys are really pay for this. Like <laughs> quit playing. What's the weirdest thing somebody went and picked out? You were like, okay. 
um, it's always where when someone asks for the the double edge uh, dildos. Okay, okay. Because I'm always like, oh, y'all nasty, nasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because <laughs> my mean? mind frame goes to either she's taking double, double penetration, like mm. she's gonna fold in the half, right. or so her, another woman, or her Ooh. woman, or her double. dude is Whoa. into a little butt action too. Oh, hell like yeah. on the low. Pegging. I just want to say this on a low for you dudes who's into this this butt action. It's okay, looking booty like. I mean, well, not getting anything booty or getting your booty licked. Which one is it? Some of them like so, getting their But if you get some shoved up your ass, though, that's just two totally different mean, things. Though. Y'all got a y'all got a G spot right there. Oh right, no, I would never know. Dwayne, right. Dwayne, hey, <laughs> what? I have like not all the way in. Have you run some doorbells? Not all the way in. You run some not, doorbells. Just like right. <laughs> Just like right here. Fuck no. Just like right here. Nope. And do a little leg. No. Ooh. Oh, you make ass? You make a ass. I like. do. Oh, oh, man. I had a nigga legs up one time. What? That's gay. He told me like. <laughs> you said that's gay. <laughs> he told me. You know you gay. <laughs> he was like, my legs should not have been that high. Well, boom. You ain't say that. Say, no, look, he you said that when you was boom. Oh, yeah. No. And you, you let your sneak up hanging in the What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you said what? Like, of course he did. <laughs> He, he let you stick his finger, your finger in his ass? A little bit, yeah. Some so how far do you go? You like, oh, no. That's good. right here. Like, it don't so be that's too far. Right here. No, nope. right get away from my ass. Y'all all have a G spot right there, too. Nope. Mm -hmm. I would never know. So you call this the sex never, coach? Sex so coach stupid. in the box, right? Yeah. Um. So what else is offered through your services? Like, what else is offered? What's, what's, what's the website again? Lovescenes.org. So what all is offered on that website? So then I have stuff like lingerie. So if you don't want the box, then I have like lingerie nice. and different sex toys and different things like that. I have all sizes. Big girls are welcome. I got up to like, like three. All my women, BB though. Yes. <laughs> uh, so don't be shy. I got something for y'all too, so y'all can look sexy because y'all need love too. And cute okay. stuff. Cute stuff. I don't want y'all thinking it's like some ugly new color stuff. Like it's gonna be really. Let's go to this website real quick so and we then, can see what's um, on here. And then I do, I have some apparel, just like t-shirts. Um, I have a sex, a sex polo oh, hat. What is it? Things like that, lovescenes.org. And, and then um, a new service that I am gonna start is we're going into people's homes and decorating their bedrooms because some people do not have that romantic touch hmm. um, and helping them create like the love scene in their actual- For one of them swings in that bitch. Wait, wait, but how are you, on, how are you doing this? How are you gonna avoid perverts? That, that's what it's for. She's trying to attract perverts. What are you talking about? <laughs> I was going to no, say, bring, exactly bring them out, bring them out. Yeah, like, what are you talking about? Bring them out, bring them out. You are a woman, you are a woman. She wants the perverts. What are you saying? So, oddly enough, I had, like, a bunch of different jobs. I'm, like, a jackie of all different traits. Okay. So, I used to be a uh, maid. Okay. So, I think I'm comfortable just because I used to be a maid. So, um, I've been in some creepy situations as a maid. Shout really? out to Mary Maids and anyone who's been a maid. Yeah, I know, I know that comes. I know that some, some crazy situations. Well, tell tell me, I want to know a story. <laughs> what happened? Don't tell me a story. So, so, I'm not from here. I'm from Maryland. So, okay. so you do got some good shit the on rich, here. The Richie people live like on that other side of this bridge, the mm -hmm. Bay Bridge. And I was in this really big mansion. And this dude had like TVs behind his mirrors. But you you didn't know type of thing. Okay. And so I was cleaning and everything, cleaning the mirror and the TV cut on. I was like, oh shit. Then I hit something else and the fucking thing opened. All these dildos and straps and shit came out. I was like, oh fuck. Like on next Friday? Yes. Like on fucking next Friday. I thought I was tripping. And then when I That's what around, I think of when I think of a house with all this shit in. The shower was one of those like when you go to the pool, it's just open, like you just walk into it. So when you go into the shower and clean in the shower, he has another little secret compartment comes out where there's like a seat and shit. Like this nigga. That's, that's a client right there. Yeah. That's a client. I, I have ran into some people who had secret rooms, red rooms, dungeon rooms, all types of stuff. I got so all different like, ideas from my, my oh. house. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this one couple had a room inside their closet so you go inside their walk-in closet behind their clothes uh -huh. there's another room and that's that's their little dungeon room and you would never know it's back there mm. so so do you have uh, any special like holiday specials or anything you doing like for the holidays as far as i will um i'm gonna probably be doing like a black friday sale where all like my black dildos and black toys will be on sale 
Um, and then Christmas, because Christmas is my birthday, so I'll, I'll probably do something really big for Christmas. Christmas is your birthday? Christmas Day. Christmas Day? Day. Christmas Day. Yep, my sister's day after December Christmas. December 25th, that's mm-hmm. my birthday. That's crazy, man. So do you have any birthday. events coming up? I have the paint and sip coming up, November paint 8th. And sip. Okay. It's like a pride and paint, and then there's a nude part too. So I'll be hosting the nude part. We have two new models that you'll These be are women or men? Yeah. Women. Women. women, yeah, two so they're gonna be butt booty naked, butt booty naked. But are they like gonna have their legs closed? Or no, 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 no
about it. When you got some good smell of cologne on, yeah. like this brother right here. Oh, right? really? She's like, Woo. Oh, really? Shout out to his girl, right? Because. Girl, he smells great. Shout out to she dressed me. She do all that. I'm Shout like, look, girl, you did an awesome job. <laughs> okay. So like, you like drip like some of the yes, 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 so and then thing. you can you can eat it off and stuff. Eat it off. Eat that. Eat that. Yeah. That's what is it? Wait, not that one. Oh, okay. That one. Oh, Louis Ball. Let me see the ones. I do have edible wax though. What the? Yeah, I found oh, this stuff. sex on a whole this new level. Yeah, yeah. So it's some more games. Yeah, more games. I need one of y'all to read a card or something. Well, and this, okay, this right here called the Push Up King. Okay? And this is a five out of five on the motherfucking Richter scale. Okay? This is a technique. In this position, the man supports himself with his arms and slowly penetrates through her open thighs. Oh, shit. He should focus on the core muscles in his pelvic floor and groaning while doing push ups. I can't see because there we go. While doing push ups strictly with these inner pelvic muscles. So that's that right there. So you called push up king. Hey, Victoria, we got you. We got you, Victoria. You stay, stay, stay on live. We're going we to we we uh, we give away some of this stuff. We're going to have a giveaway. Have a giveaway this is and ask your questions, please. If you got questions, put them in the comments. Put them in the comments. This is edible body paint. Edible body paint. So I put that in the box as well. Um, I got bath bombs. I usually have ones that are shaped in penises. Ain't no deal though. Ain't no pussy shapers. I do make the pussy shapers. <laughs> like that. We all in there. So is that, is that everything? Yes. Now that's what's up. So you get some coochie cream. And then I'm You got to get some That's what, well, it's called coochie cream. Let me not fake the funk. Is it not called coochie? Yes, it's called coochie. Exactly. So I, I would have been, it's called coochie. Boxes. I'm pretty nasty, so it's huh. me. It's do you have any hard limits? whatever my head? Do I have any what? Hard limits. Like things you won't do. Shit and piss and come on my face. Those are really? my three hard limits. Yeah, yeah, lick her ass, ass, but you can't before, before you put it on it. I just feel what, like, what is up with that? What is I that? Just feel like some, I just feel some type of I heard it's good for the skin. Yeah, yeah. Is that a rumor? You think? Right. It, it, it kind of is. It's a type of protein. <laughs> but. It's like um, eggs, huh? Like egg yolk, <laughs> egg white. <laughs> like, like egg white. I feel so type of like, just, I don't know, like, I don't know how I feel about that. All right, so this that's man. just my thing. I'm gonna tell you. So, so you, 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 um, you edu educate people on how to pleasure themselves, correct? Yes. There you go, Mom. Is this the only sex education you do? Is what just pleasure? Mm -hmm. I mean, I've done some, I've done some oral sex. Um, Lessons too, how to give head properly. Really? Did you give a class? I have. How do you give the class? I actually demonstrate. Like uh, in, in the class. Oh, in the in class. In the class. But I got a YouTube video too. I've I've done it and showed it on the. What's the YouTube? We yeah. all we all go to that mother. I gotta find it. Let's see if she know how to do it. She got a skill. She got a million <laughs> views on this YouTube <laughs> video. <laughs> Man, this I didn't actually broke in the internet. Show. I didn't actually do it like on it, but in a in a like class I have. But think about if you really record a video, you probably you know what? New Bentley, you could probably go live just like they be on Pornhub and X videos when they be doing a live. But instead of you, you showing them how to, and them niggas gonna tag it because I be watching X videos. I be. Sound. No lie. Yep. Every time somebody send money to one of the bitches, they go, beep, beep. and then you hear a bitch like, "Thank you, right? Yep. Thank yep. you." Yep. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. You're stupid. I don't. I don't want. I don't want. Oh, I don't want. I'm not in the porn. Oh, you're not in the porn. Nope. Okay. Mm. Live. No, I said I was familiar. <laughs> How you live, familiar? Live. Live again. Boom, AC. Live again. Live again. How important is masturbation? Oh, this was in here. I thought this it's was very important. You got to know yourself. Here's my thing. When I tell women about masturbating, mm -hmm. it's important that you do it because you need to know your body before men. Women depend on men for us to come. I don't need to depend on you for me to have an orgasm. I mm -hmm. should already know how my thing works. Should it take a long time? for? I feel like if it takes a woman a long time, then that, that ain't the man. You need to figure out what's wrong. No, sometimes. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with my you. My shit work, obviously. <laughs> obviously, my shit working. I'm going to be honest. Sometimes... Uh, I have drifted off 
in the oh, middle of so sex. Is that boring? Does that mean it's boring? No, it just means it just something happened. Something he should have let you lick his ass. Yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't have drifted off if that nigga would have let you lick his ass. <laughs> if you would have fucking licked his ass, he wouldn't have drifted the fuck off. That's too funny. Right? I think I agree. That's, that's, that's what right I now. have though. I have just thought we're mental. So at least for me, like, so I like to get my my click played with. Okay. Right. Okay. So cream. That's what a cream. Do you use these things? I do use everything. I don't, <laughs> I don't never give advice that I haven't used done personally. So yeah. I don't never be like, oh, I'll give you something and I haven't done it. That's not how it works. Um. So, but it's so if my 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 click is not being played with, then it's kind of like. Hmm. Let me you show know, you how. I kind of need, yeah. yeah. Do you give them instructions, or you be like, you know what? Look, you're yes, doing it I wrong. Yes, I do not mind coaching. Oh, word. I don't mind moving so, your hand, moving your head. Like talking though, do you be like? No, I talk too. Does that mess with they, their pride? Like some men, yes. You ever seen that movie, A uh, yeah. Nymphomaniac? I think it's what's it called, Nymphomaniac. You never seen that movie before? So. Well, in that movie, she uh masturbated at a very young age. Like, she was. Mm. How old were you when you first masturbated? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that. No, oh, it's cool. No, this is, this, this is a great <laughs> question. I'm laughing because I had a flashback. Like, I just want to know what at what age I'm women lying. start masturbating. I'm All lying. men want to know. Because men I'm start lying. early. Men eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, laughing. I'm laughing because I had a I'm having a flashback when my mom caught me. Whoa, tell us about that. Um <laughs> she um I was I was humping the pillow. And she came in the room and she she caught me humping the humping pillow. the pillow. So how does oh, that yeah. work? The pressure of the pillow. Yeah, the pressure of the pillow and kind of like the rubbing the, the rubbing friction up against the friction up against my. How old were you? My yes. I was. This was when we were living in Hawaii, so I had to think about. They freaks eight, in Hawaii, y'all. About seven or eight. Is there is there such thing as? Ah, don't, no. I still gotta answer that question. Seven or eight? I don't even remember. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you remember. Oh, Ace, you definitely remember. <laughs> Come on, Ace, how old was you? First time masturbating. This nigga here is disgusting. Four, okay? <laughs> AC is disgusting. Um, shit. Masturbating, man. Don't I lie. Have... Mm. Eight was a crazy year. I want to say 12. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Eight was a crazy year. I, I don't even know, have a first one girl I experience at eight. Too. I, I, I plead the fifth. <laughs> no, nah, you know what? No, 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 no. You know what? Since we got back to truth, um, I was pretty young, right? But let me tell you, I I messed up because I tried to use soap, like dish soap, and I mean uh, the soap you take a bath with. I was in the shower and I tried, and that shit burnt like a motherfucker. Hell yeah! <laughs> Dialed it up, and I was like, damn, what the fuck? So I was probably like, yeah, probably like eleven, twelve, or some shit. Experiment. But but boys, boys start i don't, I don't want to say expected to start like mm-hmm. playing with themselves early but if you know like i have two sons and my i, I have a one-year-old and anytime you change his diaper off top he's grabbing and stuff yeah. like and you know what i'm saying so i think that you already intrigued with this thing hanging from like zero yeah my son's like that too you get what i'm saying so yeah. then when you get older and you figure out Hey, I'm clutching it and it's getting harder. Let me. And you probably just do it to see how much harder it can get. Like, and then some shit come on. You know, like, what the fuck? <laughs> you look crazy. Maybe imagine, like, you know, the little things that hang off off the bottom of the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they go down. Yeah, yeah. My uncle used to do it because either when I started first start growing hair, my uncle used to be like, oh, he's because he had a mustache. And then I'm like, is there such thing as like <laughs> masturbating too much? Or, like, is it unhealthy? I don't. Can masturbation, can masturbation be unhealthy? That's a, I heard it make you go blind. I feel. Like <laughs> I ain't went blind yet. Don't, don't be listening to them old times. Yeah. Um, you know what? I think that's actually that's complicated because I have been in situations or I've heard situations where. You you can masturbate and then when the actual act comes, it doesn't turn you on as much as masturbation. Mm-hmm. You know that's what I, I that's so my philosophy. You can you can uh, not really. You can. Program it's mental, yourself. like you said. It's mental. You can program yourself. I think the, I think the same way as with when you're watching too much porn. Right. Like I feel like watching too 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 much porn 
that that becomes what your body needs to you know what i'm saying and you you become distant from a yeah. real woman or a woman becomes this you know what i'm saying so i feel like not masturbating per se to me i think going to other other areas for that arousal like you know what i'm saying yeah. that's where it becomes like a i guess if you want to call it a problem you know what i'm saying because then when it comes for the real thing you get what I'm saying? It's like you need this fucking video. You need to see this bitch get fisted or some shit. Like you get yes. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You get what I'm saying? I've had a, I've had a guy have sex with me and pulled out his phone to watch porn at the same time. How did that make you feel? That made me feel like my pussy was trash. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but he but you feel like what the fuck is going on? Hey, he humble with you? Did he humble you? Yeah, he humble the fuck out of me. You had to go hard that night, right? <laughs> And I think he was trying to do it discreetly at first, and then all of a sudden, and then all of a sudden, it was like, no, 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 no. I think he was, no, because you, I think he was trying to record me. He was legit watching porn, and then it was almost like he didn't give a fuck after a while, because then he, as he got, he leaned on you. Lean. Oh, so no. then it was almost like we were both watching. Oh no, and I was just like, oh shit, you know, what I mean? and it was the first time because like. This this particular person, like we've been fucking on and off for like five years or some shit. So it's like, I know it's not trash, but this is some I'm feeling some type of way. Like, why the fuck you? You have to kind of up up your game. Yeah, I'm gonna push him back some more. Like, nigga, you (laughs) (laughs) nah. When the phones are 79, I'm like, 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 i am like 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 i so you down for this, and they like that's some white people shit. Like I'm not down for this. Shit. Cause you know, let me tell you, it probably involves the asshole. <laughs> it involves not. I'm just saying they'll be down for anything. Men, well, black yeah, yeah, men yeah, yeah. are down I, for anything yeah. other than what it does have something to do with the asshole. Like a minute, if you, but you know, but some men, but some men don't because I've asked, I've asked somebody to like just tie me up and. Oh, of course, yeah, that's nice. And, that's cool. And the dude was like. Like, you want to do it? Yeah, yeah. no, nah, right. like that's. Oh, well, that's weird. But if you was like, let me, let me fucking put a card in your ass, and then he was like, fuck no, credit cards. Uh, what's okay? Here we go. What's the key to having a good sex life? A good and healthy, good and healthy sex life. Good and healthy sex life. Communication is mm-hmm. start is key. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Talk, if, especially if it's your significant other. Y'all talk about bills, the kids, the house, and everything else. Sex needs to be on that list. Um. <laughs> And then open mind. Open mind. How, how open mind? How important is ooh, spontaneity? Ooh, and criticism. Crit- oh, you gotta be able to take Critis- it. Yes, take the. She's not saying. She's not saying your stroke is wrong. She's just saying Move a little bit to the left. Uh, That's all she yeah. said. She didn't say you was trash. <laughs> so she just said. Move a little to if the he left. has to take your advice, does that kind of turn you off? What like? I'm saying if, if you got it, pretty much if you got to teach him, does that, you can, get, you can drink something. No. That's mine. Yeah. If you got to teach him, does that kind of turn you off a little no. bit? Because the fact you had to teach him. I don't think so. The reason why I don't think so is because every woman's different. Okay. Just because of what you did to the last woman, that's that's how she got off. But that's not how I get off. So I don't, I don't, so I don't take it no type of way. Yeah, I don't do you open up a relationship off top and tell them how you want it, or you let them do his thing and then like give them the pointers and be like, you know what, yo, when we did that, uh, do this. Yeah. Or do you open up the idea before weird. we go in here? Like, okay, okay, left my hair pulled, and then on some real shit, it's weird. But I like doing Q and A after sex, and I've had some people that was like, "This some weird ass shit," but mm-hmm. I like Q and A after sex. I like being like, <clears throat> you jump in, oh. you jump in the teacher mode, or like, what did you think about that? Did you? Feel that? I felt it. Did you feel it? I felt it. Uh, <laughs> so you know when you pulled my hair, that was hot. Um, mm-hmm. but when you did that, that was not hot. What did mm-hmm. you think? Do you think I could have been a little soggier? You think that like she's trying to up her game all, all the way, way. all the way. Uh, like I like you and it. Is is being spontaneous important? Yes. Fuck me in the car on some random shit. So what's your favorite place? <laughs> what's your favorite public place to have sex? Parties. 
You're gonna have her snitch on us. The car? No, yeah. I don't care. We all going to that spot. I don't care. Well, no, you know, we're all gonna be there. there. I, mean, I don't care. It. I don't care because my mama knows. Mm-hmm. Okay. And as long as my mama knows, I don't matter. care what the world says. Oh, okay. that's what's up. Because really? <laughs> I don't tell my mama every day. So Did you get your mama pointers? No. Your mama already a she a G. My mom told me I'm into some shit that she not fucking. They weren't doing that shit in the fifties. <laughs> 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 like, she like, I don't know where you get that little pretty shit at, but you ain't get it from over here. <laughs> I'm not doing that shit. I'm like I'm real, you know. What are we asking you to be when you be telling us? Man, you should get them a Christmas gift. Always tells me. <laughs> she always tells me, be gentle on them. Like she's always just be careful with them. Like. Don't mm. do, like she's always telling me like don't don't whip it out on them. Mm-hmm. You might scare somebody. Like you into some shit. You ever made a, a man go crazy per se? Being that you know a few times. What has he done? Um, a lot of texting, calling. Where you been? And that's turn off. Oh, uh, it depends. It how, depends how much on, you're into him. Yeah, it depends on how much. Like, like where y'all at? If I meant, yeah, if I'm into him like that, then mm-hmm. yeah, that's a turn on. Like, oh yeah, you want me right now? Yeah. yeah. What's What's the craziest thing you've done after getting after getting good dick? <sighs> I'm a stalker. You stalked? Tell me, tell me, tell me I about will it. Admit I want to know about the time that, that you I got some crazy. Name. First of all, what was good about it? And I am and a then, stalker. And then, <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm a thank you for admitting that. What happened? What happened? What happened? Um, you know, I've done some things like follow a nigga, you know. Mm. So in college, I'm put this college story out. So okay, let's do that. In college, this uh, this guy right that I was liking a whole lot, and he was fucking like on a regular, and he was dipping and dodging my calls, and mm. I was kind of like, no, the fuck you won't. <laughs> so, <laughs> I knew where he was. Mm-hmm. I convinced my friends over some McDonald's. Mm-hmm. They some idiots, and we drove up to the they student center. Up. Yeah, and we stayed behind. I wrote this note and I put it in his like um, by the windshield, right? And I sat in the back. What the fuck? And to I car? watched him. No, no, no. Oh. I sat in my car, like uh-huh. away from his car, uh-huh. and I wait and I watched him. And he read the note and he got in the car. Like I watched the whole reaction. So when he just got in the car, the real note was like. Focus. So I was looking at my phone like, he gonna text me. Gonna text me. <laughs> oh, you real crazy. Oh, he didn't text me? So <laughs> then, when he <laughs> drove, I drove too. Oh, Followed behind his ass it. like, I bet. Then he got in the house and everything. I'm on the cross the street, turn all my lights out. Oh. I'm sitting in the car and I was still waiting for this fucking text. Like, uh-huh. this nigga's gonna fucking text me because that's what the letter said. Text me. <laughs> Did you expect so, a call after that? <laughs> <laughs> so, after sitting in there for about 10, 15 minutes. Then he finally was like, hey, what you doing? I was like, oh, I'm not chilling in my dorm room, you know what I'm saying? And you right across the street. I was. And then he was like, what he was fuck? like, yeah, you know, um, I got your little note, whatever. I was like, oh, word? Yeah. He was like, yeah, you want to come through? Sure. I'll be there in like 10 minutes. I waited. Oh, you know. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I have done. I have, I've, I, I am like, Fucking Sherlock Holmes. Like right. I go through people's like, Facebooks, like Instagrams. I will find everything about your fucking ass. I will find out where your mama stay, your cousin stay, your sister stay. Right. You know what I mean, I will find that shit out. So would you say you right home? there? I will pop up in places you won't even know. You mm-hmm. be like, now what do you, you think know, that does? Who's on the side of town? Oh my god. god. So what's up? <laughs> 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 that's like a movie. I'm admitting it. No, you are. Yes, that's the first step. <laughs> no, fuck me, which is just you already stuck in your ways. So you ain't got to change. First step my ass, you're a grown ass woman. You doing this shit in 2019. No, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't, I haven't done it since 2018. <laughs> <laughs> ain't you no good thing to 2018. Done in a while. Now I just maybe like I might face Facebook lurk or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like I haven't done no drive by. I mean, I have. She called it a drive by. I have on my ass on some random shit just because he fucking pissed me off and I drove by his house and I said something like, kill "Nigga, him. I know you was in that fucking garage." He was like, "How the fuck you know you drive by my house?" I was like, "Yeah, nigga, now what?" Like I've done. Yeah, yeah. I've never keyed a car. Things. I've never keyed a car. I've Flight never. Times. I've never broken windows or I've never done nothing like that. But, but you're capable. You know, I have been like five cars behind you though. 
Mm. What about bleaching clothes? Bleaching clothes. I have bleach clothes. Whoa. I almost did set a dude on fire, but he was mm. my first. And he tried to tell the whole school that he took my virginity. This so is his school? To, I had to light Oh, you did crazy up. forever. I had to light him up. <laughs> I this nigga to, been crazy. I had to light like, him up. Ever. Like, you wasn't going to just yeah. take my pussy and tell the whole world. Like, he left some clothes. I did some Lisa left eye shit. Put yeah. it all on the, on the stove and I lit all this shit up. It was like, oh, yeah, you left your jersey and shit at my house. He was like, oh, word. And then we linked in and lit his fucking hair and shit. Ooh. Everybody was like, oh, I was like, yeah, bitch. Now what? And yeah. I walked away. So. Ooh, see, she don't play. Know, so, would you say you own your sexuality? <laughs> you own your sexuality? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I seen you on I seen you on uh, the the show Naked Intelligence. Yes. How did you How did you Were you nervous when you first got on there? Uh, not exactly. Probably more nervous because I had a previous conversation with my mom because she knows everything. Uh-huh. So we were just talking about like how I, if I should go topless or not. That's mm-hmm. the most thing I was probably nervous. What's about. Naked Intelligence? Naked Intelligence is pretty much what we're doing, but naked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's these two females' genius idea. Yeah, like they were peace. You know what would be even more but the, if they were bottomless. I was they are <laughs> yeah. actually they're bottomless too. Yeah, but they don't show it. Those we, were, were, we were completely naked. Yeah. The only reason why I couldn't have my boobs out during that show was because my areolas don't the set up like that. Yeah, oh, so my areolas are too big, so the pasties wouldn't cover. Why do you think they like they just discriminate against areolas? Yes. They just, they just, they just want the whole. They just the want the whole thing covered. You know what I mean? That's how they and, are in some strip clubs as well. And like the way my setup, it ain't set up like that. So I had yeah, to wear. Some, some, sometimes it's like not even just with Facebook, even with Instagram. Mm-hmm. As long as it gets a certain amount of likes and it's a certain size, yeah, TV, they'll let it slide by. But let her actually have titty meat. Yeah, <laughs> titty meat. Titty meat. <laughs> um, on that show, you had um, on that show, you had brought up being a call girl, correct? Yes. Um, how was that? How was that experience? That nigga. That's what I'm. I was just listen. Okay, easy. Before this, this nigga has a book over here about listen. All this is you. All of this in you. Okay. Actually, my sister did that research. The okay. producer, she the did research. Appreciate that you. Research. Appreciate There's an entire out. notebook Shout about out to the sister. You, you think that you fucking go do reconnaissance on here? Listen to this. This is just fucking social media. Shut up. You feel me? Quit playing. They got your blood type. I did. How'd you get it? First off, how'd you get into it? We gotta get on this. How'd you get into it? To being a call, call girl. girl? Mm-hmm. What is a call girl? First off, what's a call? First girl? off, okay. So when I'm on the phone, having phone sex, basically. Okay. Um, I got into that because in high school we used to play on the like the chat lines, right? Chat I was just talking to the homie about the chat line yeah. today. Chat line Yo, I'm like 5'11", 11, 60, brown skin, go hell. We feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 Mine was always Alana or Remy. I don't know. I, I don't know who keeps. I don't know. How long did you do it? <laughs> so I do. So I started in college. That's mm-hmm. that's when I actually officially started mm-hmm. doing a cover. And I, I just googled one of the companies. And um, yeah, I did like a. They did like a phone interview kind of thing with me. Where so I said you had the voice. So yeah. What, what was that phone interview like? like? It was basically like a script. Like I kind of had to like read a script and be. Sexy. How much does that pay though? Sexy. I want, I want so to, hold on, let me. Yeah, how much does it pay? Okay, it's um, usually about twenty five cents a minute. Um, I was doing texting too. So back then, before texting, before all the free texting, it was like seventy five cents a text. Um, oh, you're dealing with some real perverse. If you could you read it and get. Uh, so one of the, just those call center numbers, like on the the late night calls. Like I just when I saw it on TV, I was just like, ooh. And then it was like, oh, we hiring. So I was like, yeah. all right, let's pretend real quick. <laughs> hey, girl. Hold up. I'm feeling, I'm feeling. Like- hold, on, hold on, let me get this on my Instagram so I can show my people because we were okay. <laughs> Let me get some more. All right. <laughs> let me see what you about to do. And scene. Let's go. <clears throat> I'm feeling horny. Can you help me? Yes, I can. How can I help you? Ooh. I love the way you sound right now. Oh, is that how you like it, Daddy? What do you want me to do to myself? Well, you tell me. Right now, I'm butt naked, and oh. I got a 
Red Tongon, what's up? Oh my goodness, y'all, y'all, y'all ain't feeling this right now. <laughs> I'm feeling this from across the table. <laughs> hey, and when you say that, you be fully clothed, right? Fully clothed. Fucking. <laughs> With all my like books and shit in front of me, like right, I have all my books in front of me, and my phone will ring, and it'd be like, oh shit. <laughs> okay, right. Oh. I'm with right now, baby. Because uh-huh. then you get regulars, right? Uh-huh. You get people that actually request you, so it'd be like, yeah, John. I've been waiting on you all night. I'm waiting for you all. Mm-hmm. You late today? Did you call me about seven? Like, yeah. And you end up having like whole relationships with some of these people. And they pay, I mean, they get personal. Like, try to pop up on yeah. Them. Oh, they pulled, you pulled your move. On. Yeah, they pulled your motherfucking move on you. Got your Facebook, your Instagram. <laughs> no, your mama house. They have the real name. No, because they use all fake shit. Yeah. Yeah, they, but what if they get your number though? No, no, it goes through a system where it's no fake. It's it goes through a router. So oh. they don't get my real number. Hmm. So. Mm. But I enjoyed that. We had talked about you writing books earlier. Like, where would I find your books? On Amazon or on blueframegirl.com. That is dope. Y'all heard what, that, huh? What other unconventional jobs have you had? Uh, other incom- unconventional Why jobs. is this not conventional? <laughs> right? Sex is natural. <laughs> so, call here. I'm oh, right, not call center, but call girl. Um, I've been, uh, well, I've Stripper? had a sugar daddy before. Ooh. I have not, you know, sorry about that. I did not muster up enough confidence. To I feel like I'm skinny now, like I lost enough weight. Like, right. Yeah. But I got these stretch marks. I don't know how to feel uh, about that. About but um, I never mustered up enough confidence to be a stripper. That, But that was definitely on the on the Stretch marks selling these days, especially if they want to ass and it was like the tiger claw and that motherfucker. My girl got those. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? See, dude, it was like the ass is pushing itself out the skin. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the face, though. That, <laughs> that's what it's like. My girl, no. My girl, no. Shout out to his girl. Fat ass. Fat ass. Fat ass. It's coming out the skin, he says. Look at it. Okay. Shut up. He's and you made a post today <laughs> talking about if if, uh, mm-hmm. if the world if the world's population was based off orgasms that women get, like it would be a very so having an orgasm is very important for a woman, correct? They should sell that shit in the can. Yeah. Just give somebody orgasm. Yeah, you're gonna have an orgasm. Yeah, you're gonna have an orgasm. Ready? I'm gonna tell y'all okay. something. Me, 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 me and Sasha have a conversation prior. We did. And <laughs> I thought I thought there was an internal orgasm and an external orgasm uh-huh. when it came to women. So meaning you nut uh-huh. off the dick. And you get head in the night. I thought it was two different orgasms. Come to find out. It's not right. It's the same thing. It's Thank not. you. I, I thought it was the same thing. I'm the only one. Oh, it's, it's two different orgasms? No, it's uh, one uh, orgasm. It was my side. It was two different orgasms. Oh, no, I wasn't on your side. I also, no. think, I also think you're an idiot. <laughs> no, I, I, no, I, no, too, no, I too no, think no, you're an idiot. He was not on your side. Right. And the crazy thing. Yeah, I wasn't. I, I, I totally disagree. Right. Just to clear that up. He said, how are they different? So it's just one orgasm. Yeah, it's, orgasm. Just, it's just it's a different way. Either she's getting that same orgasm by the dick, or she's getting that same it, orgasm by the mouth. Is it the same? Yes. Or it's was the it, same. It's, it's, no, it's the no, same. So the intensity is the same. You've been doing it wrong this whole fucking time. That's why I told him. I told him. I said, so he around here just licking pussy. First of all, because I learned no, 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 the whole thing. No, 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 first no, of all, it's trial and error. Trial, I didn't know what to do. Don't with that. Trial and error. Then you start with the fucking charges. I sure did. I remember like, when you like, started. Like, no, it was trial and error. <laughs> Who the fuck? You used to give me music and shit. Extra shit. Oh shit. This is what I'm saying. They don't need to explain. How am I going to explain this to you? How's the only doing it? Nope. We are not, we're not here to talk about me. We talking about us. He kept he kept feeling like penetration, right? The G spot, mm-hmm. which is what I'm assuming you're referring to, right? Mm-hmm. It's G spot. Mm-hmm. He he thought that that was an internal mm-hmm. orgasm, mm-hmm. and that if you look on the clitoris, that it would be mm-hmm. in. So he thought he thought y'all like unicorns. Y'all didn't have two separate toes. Whoa, whoa. So if he give, like, is he giving women some good So I didn't even want to fuck his head up and let him know there's a third one because we got a G spot. And then he and then he would ask you, oh, there's three. Right. Oh, there's three. Oh, there's oh, three. Oh, there's 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 three. Oh,
So why do you even want to fucking tell her? Yeah, yeah, okay. No, 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 it's the same. If it's the same. Yeah. Why is she why is she get upset? Okay, you get some good head, but you get some trash dick. If it's the same, why does because, it matter? Because if she, now that's a good question. No, okay, because every woman every woman is different. Well, okay. you got some the nut, women, you got the nut. Why would you care how you got it? Because some women need penetration. No, it's not this. It is, it's Sometimes I'm lazy and don't feel like fun. I just need your pussy for about an hour. God damn. I mean, I'm cool with that. Like, like, God damn. But some women, some women aren't cool with it. Like, if you was like, I just want to eat your pussy for an hour, I'm one of those women like, sign me the fuck up. But right. there's some women that's like, nah, I need some dick too. Like, I need that whole. But why? Okay, but that's. Yeah, why? but that's a good question that he's asking. Why? If you're getting the same thing stim- out of it's it, stimulation. It's, a it's a it's a preference. It's a preference. But if the same outcome, right, is the exact that's same. I think it was too different. First off, it's first the same off, outcome. Why do you fuck this chick or that chick? Well, here's my thing. First off, as women, we don't want a fucking incomplete package. Why the fuck are you good at one thing and not the other? But you know, I would uh, I would say this. It's just like when some dudes put their hand over pussy. Like I can't really get it. I gotta sit here on my fucking ride. Oh wait, now I gotta stand around my fucking roster and be like, so I can only fuck him because his head trash, but I can only get get head from him because his dick trash. Like, nah. It's like a puzzle. You gotta put together a puzzle. It's too much. It's like, on Monday, what I need? Head or dick? Because I can't call one nigga for it. You feel me? Nah, that sucks. We but it's still the same thing. You need to get the head again. I'm a, I'm a, I'm agreeing with you on that. To where why would because some okay. women do complain if it's, it's they do right. Yeah. Incomplete package. Don't give them like but but that what well, ain't you in an incomplete package? That's why you can think about you. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. So check this out. So if you have a guy, mm-hmm. he makes you come in 20 minutes. You have another guy who makes you come in 10 minutes. Does that oh, mean? Yeah. Does that mean? No. I'm, I'm looking at the comments. Victoria used yes. to say she about to order a box. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Is that Victoria? Hey, Victoria. Yeah. So, you didn't forget what I said. No, no, you said one twenty minutes. I yeah. got you. So, so one, 10 minutes. does that mean that the one that made you nut in ten minutes has better dick than the one that made you nut in, in twenty minutes? Or it all depends. Because I mean, sometimes if a woman make me nut fast, sometimes it doesn't mean that it was good. It's like you yeah, was real horny. Mean? Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I was real horny. Was real horny. Right. That's tough. Yeah. Oh. Mental. It just, yeah, I, I think was going to say there's a mental that plays on... into that. Then there's also an emotional piece because maybe I just I'm feeling you better, you know, or more mm-hmm. than I did the last person. Um, then it could just be what you do. Mm-hmm. He might have done a couple, you know, extra yeah. strokes or some shit. I don't know. He might have did something a little different to hit the spot, or you know, maybe he listens <laughs> more. Yeah, the little pull up. Maybe he listens more. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he. Some some dudes just really be in tune with the pussy. So maybe he was just really fucking in tune and he just knew what to do. Mm. Um so men men in your profession, men are very direct. Would you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the most Does part. a man get further farther being direct with women? I'm talking mean, women to women, not just you, but mm-hmm. women in general. Would a man get further with a woman if she if he's more direct? Keep it a buck. Yeah. So he needs to be honest. Really? Yes. With all his <laughs> women are sluts as okay. well. Thank you. Yes, like fucking keep it a buck. That's what I'm saying. It's a stigma that only men want sex. If you don't slide in my DMs and shit like that, it's cool, whatever. Yeah, men are sloppy with it. I'll be all right. My thing is don't trick me. Don't Mm. fucking feed me like we having a relationship or we supposed to have a relationship or this is going to be something. And it's just sex. If it's sex, feed me that. Don't feed me this other shit. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Don't good morning me. Don't do that shit, man. Just text me. Plan. Yeah, text me fucking eggplant. I'm going to mm-hmm. text you. All right. Okay. Shit. Okay. And slide through. So, slide like, through. Yeah. so why are some women embarrassed when they queef? Or sometimes even oh my gosh, when they squirt? Oh, my gosh. I get squirt. embarrassed when I queef, too. Why? That little egg got in that thing, huh? <laughs> 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 you explain to what you're doing. So queefing? What about a long queef? Like, <laughs> And then, and then you gotta look. And then, hey, what's funny is they always apologize. Like, my, sorry. Like, yes. I'm just like, it's so, it's so Me, I say ill. I make it feel even more bad. Ill. Uh, uh, a little pussy for her. Uh, ill. Ill. So, have y'all actually ever parted? Yes, I fart all the time. That's my main thing. I don't play it off. See, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I've been with my girl. I've been with my girl so goddamn long that I. Why am I about to? We talk. We, what is he playing off? What are we doing? What are we doing? She gonna shut the fuck up and then we gonna shut the fuck up and then we gonna get 
and leave him. Keep going. <laughs> she, like, like, she might say you nasty, you feel me, and I play too much. I might put the cup over both our heads and keep. I, no, I wish she could. No, not the baby with that shit. Wild Goosey. Oh, well, no, I, I thought you was open minded. I thought you were open minded. What's wrong with you? No, I would have to look at you. That was the one thing you said you wouldn't do. No. It's natural. It's a, you can clean. You can clean. <laughs> we gotta be together for a certain amount of time. We oh, can do shit like that. I'm trifling. If this, if this, my girl if, know it. if we ain't together like that, and you just do some shit like that, I'm be like, nigga, we either about to get married. No, let me tell you. No, we some trifling. No, this is how you gotta know. We married. We married. If you do some shit like that, let me like, tell you. Boom, 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 boom. No, let me tell you what it's about. No. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you what it's about. It's about the confidence in the man. See, be I first met my girl, I was disgusting. They need it. <laughs> they were nasty. I swear, I should tell her no. This What's the nastiest thing you ever done? I'm, I'm, everything. No, I don't hear. She said everything. It's my girl. I do whatever she had. Whatever she had. I done did it all that. I done did everything. What's the nastiest thing you ever done? Nigga, she, you know what she did, nigga. She disgusting, boy. She got her different boxes away. There's no need for you to ask what she's done. The, this is a professional. I don't know about the nasty thing, but like the most interesting thing is interesting. And, is orgies. Orgies. And you switching it up too? They're fun. Oh, they're fun. I know people like to frown, like, oh, you're a slut. No, I wouldn't think you're a slut. Like I wouldn't that, either. But I think you're fun. I fucking. Orgies, <laughs> orgies are fucking fun. I've been in a few. Like they're fun, like especially because how I'm bisexual. many? I'm bisexual. Well, I'm bi- I'm bisexual. Okay. So when I go to orgy, I'm off top looking for bitches. Mm. Like, but I'm saying, how many bitches. people is considered an orgy? Orange. Like for you, twelve, three, six. Twelve. Like, I'm when I'm talking about orgies, I'm talking about some real shit you see in porn. Like it'd be a whole house full of niggas. And, and you, like, I've been to a whole house. And you bought the yeah. They're like, yeah, but I usually go for bitches. Like, when I go in, my first cue, like, I turn into a whole nigga. My first cue is to find a bitch. Well, yeah, because it's easy like, to find a guy. I that's go, that's the like last on the room. Exactly. So, my first thing is to find the, the chick who catches my eye. But usually the fattest ass. So, whoever's ass is fat. <laughs> and you don't even got to ask, man. Or do you, just, you can just go in. Let me introduce it. Well, some, no, because. Because I think you're just like, why I'm am I asking? We're in the Gentlemen, I, you know, hey, hi, you know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Is this a titty here? No matter what it is. You know what I'm saying? You know, the lingerie looking real nice. Uh-huh. So, you know, I just Can I eat enough, that? You know? Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, shit. I mean, we're here at Orgy. There's no need to really be formal you know at this point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. If I ever you know, go to an Orgy. I like to, I like to woo a girl. That's, that's, nope. the, that's, nope. the, see, that's where y'all men be fucking up. No, I'm talking about, no, no, no. No, 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 no. If I'm trying to, if I'm trying to holler at a female, yeah, like my girl. She made me wait for that. Right? But I'm saying that an orgy? I mean, that an orgy too. I'm not about to be nice. Where the orgy? You know you are. Are we fucking or not? It's an orgy. No, you still need to be. No, you still need to be. I ain't meant for an orgy. It's a mental thing. You still need to be. I ain't meant for an orgy then. Because I'm coming in demand. When I feel like I do that, I feel like it's like wildflower because then it's like all the bitches like, damn, she mad cool. Like, Mm -hmm. she ain't just come over here trying to eat my pussy. Like, we had a little conversation. She told me I was cute. She cute. Like, it's a whole thing. And then next thing I know, I'm in a room full of all these bitches. But you got to be there like 12 times. Real sad. I got all the bitches over here. You feel me? Wooing her is important. I'm coming from a female. I'm saying that in a, at an orgy, though, you still got to wooing? I still do that shit. You no, know, I'm, I, I feel you. I feel you on, like, like, out on the street and, like, if you try trying to. In the orgy, too. I still walk up to her, like, like you cute, this and that. Like, but you know what? You probably don't even have to. You're probably doing kiss, too much. Nope. Then I kiss her up on her neck and shit like that. Like, I, I go a little more forward and shit like that because it's in the orgy. But I always come out with a compliment and woo and things like that. Yeah, but stick your finger there and be like, smell it. I love to see a bitch smile. I love to see her blush a little bit, you know, get all, I like seeing that. So in an orgy, I'm not trying to make you smile. Because that's how I know she getting wet. Then it's just like slide over I'm not here. concerned about her getting wet. Slide over here. I am <laughs> so or just 12 <laughs> other women in here. Oh my god. Well then you know what? Move on to the next bitch. Alright, check this out. Check this out. This is a good one right here. Cause I know we've all heard this before. So <clears throat> when a woman say when a woman say you made my period come early, is that bullshit? 
Because I'll be feeling like, you know when your period starts. So you can actually be fucked that good yeah. to where your period can come early? How did you fuck the blood out of motherfuckers? You know what's so crazy is my ex used to fuck the blood out and back. Like, he used to hit me in my period and stuff. Like, he used to start the period. I remember my homeboy Yola fucked this girl, and this is the truth. And she had to go to the uh, the doctor, right, because she's all bleeding, right? And then we go to the doctor, and this was like 3 in the morning. And he busted her ovaries. I don't even have ovaries, but My nigga Yola, we just what we was calling her for like a year. Yola. The ovary buster. No. I swear to God. I, That's funny. Carl Glenn on Facebook <laughs> is an ovary buster. He was a definitely. <laughs> That's what they, he's an ovary buster. That's what we call him. Um. No. Yeah. Like I've had. I've had my. I've had. I've had my period start and I've had my period end. Oh, so we can do that. Power of the day. But our parents are funny. That's, 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 that's not. That's like, the power of the day. And masculine ain't good enough. And really? Yeah. yeah. Shit, really? we can sneeze good enough and a oh, fucking period to start. I've had that happen. I'm, I'm glad I'm not a woman. Cool. I'm just, I'll be mad. Yeah, and just been like, well, that ain't that ain't come, bitch. That is blood. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what you think. Right. <laughs> the fuck? So no, it's it's hormonal thing, but I've had to stop and. Start. I mean, depending on how you hitting it, it depending on when I'm getting ready to start my period. Let's say I know I'm getting ready to start tomorrow. I'm so trying to fuck you today, and you fuck a little extra. And... How do you make it start though? Like, do you pop something? Like, what the yeah, fuck happened? Yeah, like you can. Yeah, you can go. Does it hurt? And start a little something. No, I won't feel all that. I couldn't be no hell now. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'd be like, cut the pussy off. Nah, hell no, nah. fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Take the pussy. I don't want, nah, hell no, nah. I don't want the pussy. <laughs> I'd just be pussy. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, but, um, you can do that. All right, guys. You can get deep. Did you on. know, though, we accommodate for your penis, though? As women, we expand about four to eight inches to accommodate for your penis. So when dudes are like, oh, yeah, I'm hitting your, so your pelvic or cervix or whatever they're saying we actually we grow too the same way y'all get hard i got a question we, we grow too so this is my question so right now i'm dormant right but as soon as i start getting aroused my vagina hall i'm gonna say hall canal whatever you want to call it gets it long expands and it gets longer so this, this is my question i always wondered right like when we like with anything you watch in Porn or whatever, you be like, dog, this bitch take really tell you this film about the nigga with the log. Like, <laughs> these niggas been taking shit like this, and it'll shove this whole thing up they shit. And you think, like, how is it not touching her heart? Like, where the fuck is that going? Yeah, we So, is that why? Yeah. But where does it go? Like, what part of this is the bitch going inside? It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like this. It's like this. Like, it's doormat now, right? And then when we get aroused, it starts to I'm saying, what part of your stomach is that shit making it's, room it's, for? It's like, no, you know what? Let me scoot canal. over. It's, it's our vagina canal. It's not anywhere in our stomach. It's all still. It just make a whole together. new place for you. It, yeah, a whole new place. And we just stretch like that. That and just sounds disgusting. What do y'all do when you have one that's too big? You just... Then you hitting something. Like, what are they hitting at that point? You ain't never hitting that point, huh, AC? I'm not pussy whip. Whips. Pussy. <laughs> 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 um, no, for real, like, what is that that they hit? Well, at that point, it's like the rib or some well, shit. At that point, it's the self. Well, you're hitting the selfies and stuff like that. Like, that's where the flu is. You know, you know, but see, if I look at your stomach, I could be like, oh, your pelvis and whatever is right there. I can no, feel so, it. No, that's further down. Further down. Y'all see y'all niggas be We don't know. I don't know the one. Don't me, no, I don't know the one. Uh, my fault. Y'all hitting stomachs. Y'all ain't hitting no stomach. We hitting stomach. Ain't hitting hitting no stomach up we hitting the anatomy. No stomach. Bro, what we hitting? We hitting the hallway. The hallway. That's it. It's okay. Well, well, we done made the hallway a little, a little bit longer. Spongy cushion. How about that? There's this little spongy cushion thing that sits like right up there. That's usually where like our IUDs for those who have those. That's where it sits at, right? That's what y'all are hitting. Been a woman you're hard. hitting right on that little cushion part. Y'all aren't going nowhere. Is that, do you get aroused? Do you get aroused by that? Hitting that? Depends. It can hurt. Depends on how sensitive. Like when I got my IUD in, as soon as she touched it, I passed out. So it just, it just depends on how sensitive you are. Like passed out because it hurts. Oh uh, no, just just a very sensitive area to be played with. Like it can it's got a lot of nerves. <laughs> It can cause, like for me, it can cause me to pass out, like literally, like. And a good pass out, or like, a, like you pass the fuck out. Like I, passed, pass out. like I blacked out, passed out. Like she had to go. You know, you need to be like, I'm tired. I'm about to pass out. Like no, no, no. Yeah, like, she don't actually pass out. Just no, like a blackout. That's what I was making sure of. 
Like a whole, no, like a, <laughs> That's what she meant. I was like, a sure black, was like a coming. blackout. Like I passed out on the table Damn. and she was putting my ID in because she touched my cervix. Damn. What's something you wish you knew about men when you were younger? That, you know. That y'all ain't shit. It's like, ah! uh, that was personal. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that was personal. Um, what are you talking about this? Uh, <laughs> Say me crazy. What would I have wanted to know? Hey, that's good. Why you think? Oh, what was it something you wanted to know about a woman at a younger age? <laughs> it's it's weird because my mom taught me about sweet nothing. She mm-hmm. taught me that y'all would talk and again, y'all say what we want to say. I'll tell you what I and think. yet, and so we still fall for. The, I still fall for the dumb. It's thing. like I hate women, but I love women. It's just like you. What could you do without a woman? Relationship. Yeah. Like I, yeah, I don't know. Because women can make you the maddest, but what would you do without a vagina? I'm going to tell you what I wish I knew. Because growing up, I have a family full of women. So they made it seem like you got to open the door for her. You got to treat her like a freaking angel. Right. Come to find out women like assholes. Why do you say women like assholes? They like I assholes. Do. Why do you think that? But I do like a little <laughs> dose of an asshole. It's, they do. That's, that's so crazy. But let them tell it. Let them tell you as a young man. But it's got to be a happy mix. Like, exactly. It's, a balance. Yeah. Like, I I don't want you to be an asshole, but I also don't want you to be thirsty. Here's my thing, like, I still want you to open the door, but maybe smack my ass and wow. something nasty. See, you see, see? That's, that's the part they don't tell you, though. That's, I'm that's not going to open the door all the time, though. If we've been together for a while, you got me fucked up. That's fine, too. You better, come on. And that's fine, and that's, and <laughs> come the fuck on. Honesty, that's fine, too. <laughs> But I'm saying, like, in the first But if we want to, well, I always yeah. open the door for my girl. Like, I'm not going to have her out and about seeing me how. Crazy. Yeah, no. Nah, you know what I'm saying? About. So, Shout I'm going to do it like, yeah. Girls. If anybody else is watching, she ain't this shit. This isn't a whole epiphany of, has, of a decent guy. Here. She's not. She is. Don't do that. You ain't shit. Duh, that's why she fucked with me. That's why we ain't shit. But that's what I'm saying. We make a big pile of shit. Yeah, we just make a big ass piece of shit. I like a little bit of ain't shit. Like, you know, it makes it fun. I'm not asshole ain't shit. This is fun. Right. We get into a little drama. We argue a little bit. Then you slap it against the wall and we fuck, right? And then we all good at the end. And then we watch Make up sex. And then we forget. Everyone needs an asshole in there. Forget it happened. All right, all right, guys, guys, guys. Check this out. I want to go to total 360. Uh, uh, first, two, two last questions. Two. Okay, let's go. One, explain to them how do they clean, properly clean their toys. Ooh. Oh, so how I do you properly clean your toy? A toy cleaner that comes in the box, too, as a little whatever. Mm-hmm. What's it? And so this helps. But if you don't do that, I usually like to use like any type of anti um, bacteria. I use soap. bleach. Right. Not not <laughs> not, not <right>. bleach. <laughs> um, maybe like maybe a little dowsel. So dowsel. what do you do? Just pour this on there? Yeah, or? and rinse it and, and wash it off. Um, yeah, anything with some type of antibacterial stuff. Any more sex questions? Any more sex questions? Yes, more sex well, questions. She said you have one. last one. Since you know a lot and you've also experienced a lot, have you ever met a guy that just like had you like damn like? You know, like he taught you some oh, stuff. Oh, a guy taught you like some stuff. He had you stuff. Oh, your shit over here. I wasn't expecting all of that. Well, I like this. Um, one time at bank camp? <laughs> <laughs> Probably when I was young. Mm-hmm. I mean, now I don't think there's anything, anything can be taught to me. that can be taught. But um, oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh. when I was young, <clears throat> I had, because I, because I looked older, I developed older. I, mm-hmm. I dated a lot of older guys too. Okay. Um, so yeah, they introduced me into some, like they taught me how to, I had a guy taught me how to ride. Mm-hmm. It's one thing that I was like, I'm not good at, I'm gonna tell mm-hmm. you that right now, I'm trash. Mm-hmm. And so he was like, all right, he, he, was, he taught me, he was like, all right, well squat, do this. Or, and I'm gonna guide you this way. Okay, now move. It, does that feel okay? Like he actually really talked me through it. I was like, had a, I had an older guy too. Um, it was one of my friend's brothers. She's still up right now. Don't watch this girl. Um, and he introduced me to anal. Um, and so that was cool because we used to do like it was weird actually. We had, we do set we did sessions like every day. We would accomplish another inch or we would practice different ways on how I can take it. It was actually I've had two guys that you're professional. trained me into riding and taking. So, 
And as far as in a good way, and as far as giving head, was I trained in that? I think that was strong. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to switch it up. So always pads took off the the woman symbol off of the pads because they said uh, all 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 genders can have periods. That's that's the the new right. saying. All genders can have periods. Now Get at first here, at right? first at first that blew my mind because I'm like, what do you mean men can't have periods? But what it was was the women that transition into men are still having their periods. I'm not, I don't want to offend nobody, so I don't worry about my thoughts. I'm just gonna read this. <laughs> I'm not even gonna sit here and offend nobody because so everything I'm gonna say is gonna be offensive. Said, everything I say is going to be offensive. Say, so I don't, know. I don't have anything to say about it. No, for, go ahead. as a woman, how do you feel about that? I really feel like it's some bullshit. It's some bullshit. Like on some real like. I feel like, bro, get your girl. Listen, listen, you want to be a, a, a dude? The whole team. Fuck a period. Get your ass out of here. In this LGBT. <laughs> TQ community, the T like I'm bisexual, so I'm part of this community, right? And I just feel like the T is fucking it up for us right now. The T is really fucking it up for us. I'll be honest. The T's are fucking it up. Fuck, they're fucking it up. Like, y'all, it's, it's it's one thing that you decided that you wanted to be a man. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you had to know that you was still gonna have periods, mm -hmm. just like a stud when she when she yeah. decides to be, you know, boy. Like Masculine, she yeah. still has her fucking period, dog. Like she not going around. Right, studs like, ain't been tripping. Why that's, trip? That's what. what? That's what. Not even, not even point. Point. This is my point. This is my main thing. Who's seen the pad? Who, Who is seeing the pad? First off, who is buying a pad? Like I want to know. Based off of a symbol or who on the package. Well, I'm about to tell you why. Well, it's not that. It's that we live in the fucking future, bro. And everyone, we, we have you seen that movie, Idiocracy? Mm -hmm. Have y'all seen Idiocracy? I've Y'all need to watch Idiocracy. It's a comedy. It's actually a comedy. Um, and I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you the short. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna break it down and give you very short. You know, I'm not gonna get very long winded with it. But Idiocracy, basically, some um, Owen Wilson. I forgot his name, but he get him and a, a lady He's gets frozen. Him. Right? They get frozen. <clears throat> In the lab, just to see what's going to happen next year, you know, about what happens is the lab ends up being shut down and shit, and they tear it down. When they tear the lab down, these motherfuckers get built under like rubble and all that, and fast forward until like 3056, right? Now, 3056, right? And this movie was made in like 2004 or some shit. Everyone's an idiot. They don't use water for fucking grass. They're using fucking Gatorade because it's electrolytes. Fucking the president is being rams and none of his people can read. They they fucking using monkeys for experience. Like they're doing stupid ass shit, right? When you watch the movie, it's exactly now. We live in the fucking future to where everybody just wants a piece of this attention, yeah. right? And that's all it is. It's like, oh, I can get this attention. Let me have that. I'm a, I'm a training. I'm well, gonna my, get well, the my, fuck out of here. Well, so that's just like, like we just live in the future. The point of the pad is for to collect some blood. Mm -hmm. You take the shit, you throw it in the trash. In the trash. What does it? First off, they're already overpriced. We're already Just gonna. Attention. If if the T really want to fight for some shit, how about we get that motherfucking shit tax free? How about we oh. get some free fucking tampons and pads? Y'all want to fight for some shit? How about we fight for us to have some free shit? Why we gotta pay seven, eight, nine dollars? Cause we bleed naturally. Mm -hmm. If you want to fight for some shit while you fighting for labels and monster trucks on my always, then now I'm going to have to pay two extra more dollars for that goddamn monster truck they just put on that damn shit. Make it free, bitch. Now y'all got to that pads are lot. Switching, huh? Why y'all switching all this shit? Make the shit free. Y'all got to pay a lot for that shit? I mean, it's seven to eight, nine dollars, depending on what you want, just so I can stick it up in me. Just so I can stick it up in me to catch a flow that I, I, have, I that God has naturally done this to me. You see what I'm saying? This is a natural so thing. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't Back in the day, there was just some tension. Can you use this? Someone asked for this, huh? Y'all can't use the pad. No, because it should like deteriorates and all that stuff like that. What did the, they do before with pads? The water. Yeah, what were they doing before pads? Cotton, a lot of cotton. They would take up like really thick cotton and, and wrap it around underwear. Dr. Sammy said that a period place. wasn't supposed to happen. Thick, it's not thick, supposed to happen. You're not supposed thick, to have women aren't supposed to have periods. What? For real? What the fuck? Yeah, like if you eat a certain type of way, you won't have a period type. I've heard that too. Yeah. I don't know. Think that's cool? We love Dr. Sammy, but we we I don't I know. That's a malarkey. My thing is it should be free. 
should be it should be free pads and tampons. I should be able to just go to Walmart and be like, yeah, let me get two of those. Do trannies buy this? Have you ever had a tranny come in buy this? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Would you have you ever had a man? I know I'm going back, but have you ever had a man actually peg him? Peg. Me what the get, fuck is peg? Oh. Oh, like me, like me. You put it? on strap and you, you know peg what? Him. I've actually gotten asked to do that at an orgy. It did not go down because he ended up getting fucked by someone else because I was busy. But you would have done but it. I actually, <laughs> I actually would have. What if you would have shit on me? <laughs> oh. I like spanked. I've like spanked another guy, and I've like tied him up, and I've done like weird shit to because some of these, some of these. Parties I go to some weird people there. So, I mean, I'm just. Is it people. more black people or white people there? It's definitely more white people. Uh, it sounds like they it just sounds very Caucasian, and like. Mm-hmm. And people have boring lives. Other they, words, they usually have like. Not even that. That's that money talking yeah, though. That's, that's that money. Like, like you got enough got money to not really care. You know what I'm saying sometimes all you, when those type of lives, your that your job is all your life. You know what I mean? But the job may be interesting just because it's not interesting to you. Yeah. Okay. You're right. So. Uh, guys, of that I made a post, or I, not a post, but I shared a post that somebody else made. And no. in the uh, no. No? no, you don't like that one. No, Cause I thought that one was pretty good. Anything else? You guys <laughs> Damn, hold up, hold up. It's now say it. What are you talking about? You just stopped on the what happened? You made a post the other day. Now we must know. How do you just stop in the middle of the fucking sentence? Yeah. She said, like, oh. no, we're gonna be right. No, right. never mind. I just seen my little sister face when she looked at this nigga. We go. You see, you flip it. You see that nigga flip the page. That nigga say, you know what? Hell no. You think it's social media? Or this part? I hate this part. I do actually. So. Oh shit. How like how y'all feel about just eating pussy? Like, oh, I'm, I'm all, all with that. But yeah, it's no problem. No, 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 no. Like, Without having sex, you saying? Well, we can start there. Okay. <laughs> so, but what's the question? Hold on, let's hear our question though. But my question was like, do you just eat anybody's pussy, or are you particular about it? Like. Is it like, damn, she's just so bad. I gotta eat her. Right, or is it, <laughs> or is it one of those things like, I just eat anybody because I just love eating it? Or is it like, nah, I only do that for certain people? Now, I've been in a relationship for five years, so I ain't nobody else pussy in like five, six years. You feel me, babe? Okay, well, before the but show, before I would that, say that, bro, no. no. I would, but, but then the women that I was messing with were like, you would mess with them. like you get what I'm saying. So everyone, like I'm just out here eating in these. Like I, I'm fucking with them on a on a you know I might fuck with ten bitches at once, but these are my ten bitches. You get what I'm saying? So yes, I mean all ten of them. I was pussy. Yeah, I was saying I'm fucking you. I'm mean, yeah, and they go all ten of them at the house. You would think like, yeah, this is nigga real bitch, and they know they not, but you know, yeah, I'm probably yeah, and they going all out too. You know what I'm saying? But now if I just meet a bitch off the block and just be like, hey, how you doing? Then? Yeah, yeah. But then the gender has been no time also to depend. Night, it's been no time night. to depend on my mood because yeah. it's been no time when I first met my girl. Uh-huh. Shit, if I if she would have gave me the chance to eat that shit on the first night, I was eating that. She beautiful. I would have ass and everything. You know how y'all started? You know how y'all started? When you met you like, but you said you she made you wait. Yeah, she made, she made you wait. Like two, three months. Ooh. But the, this the this the and this is what I would say. With her, I like I said, I was still winging. Like we weren't in a relationship. I want to say something about that too. Ever, you know what I'm saying? So we still we still winging mm-hmm. like other females off. So while while we we not while we not doing what we doing, I'm I still got other females, yeah. right? But then when I started seeing like hell no, nah, like I'd rather fuck with her. I started like okay, females are calling. I'm like oh, I'm busy, and I probably ain't even busy. Shit, she probably ain't coming over till tonight. But I don't want no bitch. I don't want you leaving shit here. I don't want you to even be here. You know what I'm saying? Which is not even going to be a problem because I'm not in a relationship, right. but I'm just fucking with her to the point to where you just I don't, don't, kind of I don't even want to, ex- yeah. it's not even going to be an explanation, yeah. Yeah. but I don't even want her to see that and, and feel any weird. Right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. He, he wanted the pussy. He wanted exactly. Pussy. I wanted like, no, no, no. I did. I did. Um, probably about that long. Probably right. About that long. I got to the point. See, I'm a, I'm comfortable with myself. I actually start conversating with my girl about that. She coming over every day. I let her know exactly that. Like, look, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not no dog ass nigga. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna keep it all the way king. I done cut off all these females. 
I know it's not about sex, but you come after school, after work, you lay in my bed every day. We get comfortable. You get what I'm saying? I might rub on you, you move my hand. Like, what is that? That leads into it. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, what is that? Like, you know what I'm saying? I have a question. Like, I just asked her, like, are we fucking or not? What is this? So, like, before, right, when you were dating her and everything like that, did you ever want, like, with any of the girls, you ever told any of them, I don't care who you fucking? And if you did, what did that mean to you when you told them that? Like you had, let's say you had these ten, these ten girls, right? That you was like, I'm gonna just say five. Yeah, I don't matter. Three, whatever, okay. more than one, whatever. And so I'm a player. Your girl, your girl. Right? <laughs> At some point, you decided that was gonna be the one that you you really wanted to right. fuck with. So, but you still had the other four that she was fucking with. Right. And let's say the other girl, she feeling you too, right? right? And you tell her, well. I don't care who else you fucking like. She's like, she told you the same thing. Like, I don't cut all my niggas off. Right. I don't stop fucking with everybody. Right. Because I'm I'm digging you. Yeah. And you was just like, well, I kind of don't care. I didn't actually do that. <laughs> like, I kind of don't care who you fucking go. Right. Well, yeah. see, just like you said, you? well, it doesn't, I've never really had that issue because I already, I'm, and he always asked me, like, I don't know how you do that, bro. I come up front as well. So you, you would look stupid saying that because I, you already know what it was when we came up front. I never even gave you the the mindset that we were going to be that. Like, when we, just like you said, when we fucking, that's exactly what we're doing. And I keep it with that. I would even probably try to run a train on your ass and see how far you try to take it. <laughs> you feel me? Just so you know we're not going nowhere. Once the homie smash, you know we're not about to do nothing. We're not going nowhere after this. But I'm just saying that I've never really had that issue because I didn't. I didn't, I didn't let them on like that. Like they knew exactly what it was because there's been times where bitches at my house and shit, they telling me to be quiet because they about to have a nigga come pick them up. And that ain't none of my business. Wait, wait, wait. Mm-hmm. That ain't none of my mm-hmm. business. So they already know. So it, it was already understood. It was like, we don't need to say it. Yeah. That, that would just be a conversation. I guess if we, if we really got feelings like that, that we don't up, upset one another because I already see what it is. So for me to be like, oh, you fucking with yourself, nigga? Uh yeah, yeah. Well, who you think I was fucking with when I said I gotta leave and such as about to pick me up? You thought this was a random ass nigga? Like you get what I'm saying? And then vice yeah. versa. When I'm sitting there telling you, oh no, I'm busy tonight. Do I think you're an idiot that you don't it don't cross your mind that you got another bitch coming over there? Like, so I don't even I wouldn't even but it when I told when um I started fucking with uh Depreda like full on. I didn't have no problem uh, telling the girls exactly that. I said exactly that, and there was no hard feelings. Like they all wish the best of luck, and okay, it was exactly that because we was just fucking. We just <laughs> like we really just fucking. And sometimes they'll come over and we don't fuck. They'll come over, and cook. You know what I'm saying? They come over and probably just cook, but they probably come over and just be like, "Shit, you got some weed? Yeah, yeah I got some weed. Shit, I just think I was over in the area, just wanted to fuck one. You would probably really think we just homies. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So they, we already had that understanding. So I didn't have that. Uh, I want to give. Uh, I don't know if, if, if Deep Predator even know this, but <laughs> the night that you did give it to him was funny is the day before don't he was saying, I ain't. No, tell him. What, 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 what. He was saying, I was getting in trouble. trouble. Like, I literally on my household. Really he, said, he said, bro, if she don't give me no pussy tonight, I am not fucking with her no more. I had that conversation with her. That's what I'm saying. I had it. Next thing you know, he calls me. He's like, hey, she gave it to me. <laughs> she, she did. She so had a nigga, she had a nigga okay. waiting forever. I, I want to ask this, though. Is, is a man wrong for, okay. Is a man wrong for trying to fuck with you while he's laying in the bed with you? Like, it's because I had a girl say, you probably could have had it if you wouldn't have been trying to get it, per se. You know what I'm saying? But I'm laying in the bed with you. How, how, why am I wrong for wanting to touch on you? We in the bed together. I think like, that's childish. If You know, right. you're right. But I think you know she's childish for that. If we naked, should be in the bed then. No, if we make it, and, and you no, make it, and I feel like you. But, not even that. If you sitting there seductive, like if you sitting there in your bra and your panties, and we sitting in the bed, mm. and I feel and I go in the fill on you, and you be like, "Don't touch me." Mm-hmm. I've done some shit. Yes, but <laughs> why am I wrong? I'm for, I'm why am I wrong for attempting? I'm childish, <laughs> and I'm a stalker. Yeah, and that, that's why we. That's why we respect so you. Anybody <laughs> who think I'm cute, just remember, I'm <laughs> childish. I'm, I'm also. So before you slide in my mother's knee. Oh, you know what to go with. Um, why, why is the man wrong for that? Why am I wrong? Why am I getting dogged out because I tried to have sex with you? Because I've had it just because, like, I just didn't think that was a move. Like, I just want sometimes we just want to chill. Like he said, like, just come over, smoke a blunt, da da da, like, on some homie shit. Why are you letting that be known, though? 
You can't you can't come over and not let that be known. You come over to smoke a blunt, and in his mind, he don't know you just came over to smoke a blunt. You land in the bed rolling a blunt, but you also got your panties on. Now it needs to be yo. I'm coming over. Should I do it? I'm coming over to smoke a blunt. Why can't you have self control if I'm just in my t-shirt? Because he mean. Can come over. No, that's not the. That's not because we're men. We cannot know. It was not. because we sitting at something because we're seeing sexual party parts. But that's what I'm saying. Why can't Why can't I just lay next to you without you having a slide your damn? It depends on if y'all got the relationship. I'm going to attempt every time. Attempt. I'm gonna if y'all had that relationship. I'm gonna attempt at least three times. Right. At least five times. I'm gonna do at least five times. After that, I'm gonna stop. First three practice. Make sure I'm real serious. Like I just I just wanted you over just to chill. Like intimacy. Just on some. Just on. There it is. Intimacy. Intimacy does not have to be the act. I just wanted your. But it depends on if that's what y'all want, though. Aura. I just, oh, that's, that's it. Deep. That's I just deep. wanted that you deep. here in we the bed with deep. me. Y'all aren't. <laughs> no, I'm deep like that. No. Like, man, you ain't deep, you ain't deep like that. Man, you like that. Man, you right. deep like that. Man, you right. Nah, he right. He right. Cause you're right. <laughs> yeah. I love you. No, you right. But that's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes, like, I, I sometimes like I got this little dude, whatever that I like, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And sometimes like I just be want him to just come over. Just company. Just hold me. I just come here. Yeah. Just hold me. But then you let that be known though. Yeah. Sometimes he be curving me to the fucking like fuck that nigga. Uh, but you know, him, girl. I've been fuck. I've been curved a few times and stuff like that. Cause I would say that comes off extra. But I'm feel you like some dudes not into the level or we're not on that level. That's cool. Right. You got to be on that level. And figure it out. I don't Men, men actually love a female just like to shoot the shot. Like that's that's shoot. very attractive. Yeah, like ninety percent of the time, a female don't want a man to come up to them. What but what they don't understand is, if you came up to that man, you bro, you don't want like ninety percent of like this. I do. All like, this is, I do. I do it just for that reason. Exactly. Like you don't already want. No one has probably came up to you. So I'm gonna take that step and come. Because men don't have. Do they men don't have that. Just think, like. I will how, send your DMs in a minute. Like, men, that off top, <laughs> off top, a man would be like, "Damn, bro, like I fucks with it just I've off heard, of that." I've heard like for me, like I come, it's too aggressive. Nah, like, men for for a woman to to do all that. Sometimes it comes too aggressive. Even though if a man is soft, but guys, 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 guys like we 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 on the hour and thirty minutes. We need to figure out how we gonna give away this stuff. What oh. is what is our plan to give away this stuff? Oh. What? I want the sugar daddy story. Oh, the sugar. All right. Well, why you tell the sugar daddy story? I'm trying to think of how we're gonna get. Away. Okay, figure that out. Sugar daddy story. Uh, Who wants this uh, stuff? So I had a sugar daddy in college who was an older guy. Had to been about <laughs> sixty, late sixties, and all he wanted was conversation. He had lost his wife, so all he wanted was intimacy. Like he just wanted. A presence. He just wanted to talk. He just wanted to be heard. He wanted to lay on my chest. He wanted to like fill on my boobs. Like he just wanted a woman next to him. You know what I mean? Like it was just by losing his wife. So he paid me for that time. Then I had another guy. Um, after I had my son, I had a I had another guy who uh paid for like diapers and he paid for all types of shit. Um, he would pay for me to see him. Do you back them off or like do you do you egg them on? Mm -hmm. Depending on if you feel like if someone buying you shit and all of that. If you're well, talking about a sugar daddy, situation. right? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, if they're a sugar daddy, well, the like how do you make them back? Or like, do you get tired of it or like are they expecting something? Like, it depends on the it depends on the situation. Like, like how do I end it? It's like so, for instance, like let's say you had a sugar daddy. Is it yeah? Is there do you end it or do you keep it going as much as like do you be like you know what? I don't. I'm not feeling this no more. Or like, because it's a sugar daddy. Like, do you want it to end? In a relationship. I was just gonna say exactly. But that's what I was just gonna say. So I'm done some dumbass shit for love. But Sasha always trying to fucking love some damn body. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Don't nobody want to love me. I'm trying to love somebody else. Damn. <laughs> so I was trying to love this nigga, and, and you know, I was all like, I'm gonna cut my sugar daddy off. You feel me? And all this type of shit. This shit lasted for like all of a split minute, and Ooh. I was like, shit, you fucking up my money. So then when you went back to the sugar daddy, did he take you back or like? Yeah, but it wasn't the same. The money wasn't right. It went from a hundred to fifty. 
At first, he was breaking off hundreds. Now the niggas say, nah, I'm going to give you the 50 and so, you make that work. I think I have an idea. So, guys, I think we should come up with out of a sex position for one of these cards or something like that. And then if whoever's tried it before, whoever has tried it before, they would. Nigga, so, motherfucker just going to say they tried oh, it. Okay, you're right. You're right. I didn't think about that. You feel me? Well, I know. Not at all. What you do is we got a box. You feel me? We got, you you want to give away both the boxes or just one box? It's not a box. I'm giving away like lingerie and this pink stuff. Nigga, hold on. First off, this What's is a black thing? woman entrepreneur. The, the box, okay? This is 150. Yeah. Okay. You're not 99. You feel me? We're going to give away some cards. Some lingerie, yeah. So we're not giving so away like, the box. So it cool. is. Oh, okay. I just okay. Saw this What's the first item? <laughs> What's the first item that What's the first item we are? I already took the clit juice. Body paint. I, the juice I got the clit juice. Edible. We got some body paint. So, so edible body paint. Edible, edible body, body paint. paint. Mm-hmm. You want the edible body paint? Somebody got to put a story up there. Tell us a story. What would you use it for? That's yeah. what I want to know. What would you use this edible body paint for? Oh, what you put? Oh, okay. best one. I want the lingerie, Elena. Mm-hmm. Elena, what would you do with the lingerie? What would you do with the lingerie? Yeah, what you doing with the lingerie, Elena? I got plus sizes too in the lingerie. Oh. So don't think. All sizes can do participate. It, do it for the big girls. That one goes up to 3X, I think. Oh, no sizes. <laughs> I just know fine. Okay. <laughs> Is it fine or not? <laughs> okay. I can't with this man. <laughs> I don't know sizes. Girl, her hands full. You a hot I get on her fucking nerves. Right. Now, I don't want to laugh my ass. No, we don't want to laugh do. my ass off. No, I really do. I what would you do for this mom? What you going to do for this mom's right? Is what the question is. Oh, she's oh, she laughing. She laugh. Yeah, no, no, no. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. We got body paint. We got lingerie. We need to see what y'all going to do for this type of stuff. What you going to do for this type of yeah. stuff? Yeah, some strange for this change. You need a little pimple. What you going to do? That's what I want to know. Robbie about to jump in and say, you know, 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 no, they playing, man. Come on, y'all. No, we yeah, gonna pick someone. Yeah, we should we just pick right? somebody. Yeah, yeah. straight up. Well, since ain't no, we're not picking well, somebody who wants you to do with the lingerie. Okay. She's a little bit of 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 she said, "Whatever her boo wants." Well, much. she needs to be specific, specifically what he wants you to do. Uh-huh. What he wants you to do? Does he want you to twerk <laughs> in it? What he wants you to do? What you? Nah, you already pretty much won, though. <laughs> right <laughs> by default, <laughs> nah, because she actually on there and she actually she actually she answers the question. The lingerie? The lingerie. Yeah, well, we got we got black and we got pink. Yeah. What color do you want? What color, black and pink? What size? What size are you? What the fuck? You ask women that, you bro. Size, it's just, it's, I just want to know if, it's, if she's a smaller girl or a big girl. That's it. Oh, she's a small girl. Okay, All right. that's it. Oh, what color do you? I've seen them before. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen them before. What you want, black or pink? Black. Let me get on this or Let me go pink. shed. Fuck them boys off. Man, man, hold up. What are any questions? Do anybody have any questions? Um, Let's no. see. Hold up. Go scroll up. Um, about. That's why I love John. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is a lot of. Hey, Amen. Yeah, they use a green. Oh, they just agreeing with you. And she wasn't speaking nothing. <laughs> she wasn't speaking that truth. And I don't know. Black. Oh, she said black. Black. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we got, we got, okay. All right, guys, come on. Uh, we got seven people on his mug. Hey, we got a pink one. We got some paint. Hey, what's that right there? The black lady right there. What is that? Is that bondage? Yes, so it's a door. It's a door. Oh, we're giving away bondage too. If you went to it. Hey, but y'all gotta have a sex life. So uh if y'all ain't getting no man, don't be on down. Down, 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 down. Yeah, well, y'all gotta be disgusted to get Who's trying to get strapped up? Huh? Yeah. Yes, Sean. Oh, we like the way you were that. Put it back right there how you had it. That was not hard to give away. 
Oh, it wasn't. Yeah. Oh, well, you gotta tell us. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know how you should have. Actually, did it. I did. I brought it to show. What the hell else goes inside the box? Medium on top, <laughs> large on the box. So you might get some door jams in there. So, that's that's it exactly. So we so Elena the only one that won. Why are you trying to give away the whole box, AC? So hey, that was the person. I can't stand you. Yeah, well, we didn't give away the paint. Body Y'all gave away the we body gotta paint. Body paint. To give away the body paint. All snap right up my alley. You want the body paint, uh, Chantel? What's up? Which one is up your alley? Which one? Which one? Talk to me. Let's see. And oh, <laughs> tie you up though. <laughs> oh, Elena won both. <laughs> <laughs> Two of me tied up. Elena say I want the lingerie and then I want to be tied up inside of the lingerie. She's trying to have a whole lingerie. Yeah, she's trying to have a whole lingerie. Yeah, she's trying to have a whole lingerie. Yeah, she's trying to have a whole but no, not that right person, AC. So, hmm? <laughs> Someone else. Yeah, but we still. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. You are a funny nigga. Mm. Why are you looking at these goddamn cards? These ones are emojis, <laughs> sex emoji game. You don't need to be looking at this. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you doing her like that? Cause though? she don't she need. Sister, that's she don't need to look at this. What the fuck she want to know about this for? She want to know all the stuff. Oh hell no! Nah. You don't need she her don't contact know. information, okay? When y'all leave here, that's it. You don't need to know. You don't need to be curious about nothing. I don't know. Let's take it. Oh hell no! Nah. Why are you treating? Come on, y'all. We, we got what are we giving away again, Miss Sasha? What is that? The paint and the oh, and the um sex part. Oh, what about the other? Uh, Oh, yeah, that's a lingerie, too. Yeah, it's actually, it's easy to be. Is Carl Uh, yes, it's a grapefruit. That's an eggplant. Eggplant. <laughs> Did he say grapefruit? Elena. Yes. Oh, okay, that's that person. Elena. Yeah. I'm trying to give away some stuff. I'm not trying to get you back. Well, you buy two, but you're trying to give away right don't, now. Don't block the money. They, they, no, nah, they for sale. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I know. So why are they going to do giveaways? Yes, we're doing giveaways. We so, need you to say so what you're going to do with the paint, what you're going to do with the lingerie. We need to know. Oh, what you're sorry, hey, get, that, get the straps out the way then if they're not being given away. Please. So <laughs> we okay, only need what's being given away. Let them know we have lingerie. Well, do we don't have lingerie no more. We already gave that to Elena. She said we got to have more. Oh, that's it right there. Okay. We have Let me see. lingerie. Layla gonna squeeze her little tight ass up in that. <laughs> Kill, you feel me? I got you, Layla. Ah, Kim, I squeeze her little ass up in that thing. Her little ass cheeks can hang out right there. You feel me? Hang out. So yeah, got the little yeah, ass. It's, it's so thin, like, if she wasn't getting moist, this thing. Ooh, that's a whole thing. Yes. You bring it down, bring it down. And you gotta send a picture to Radio at the podcast um, when you put it send up. The, you gotta send a picture. She said she needs your info. Give the info again. Uh, lovescenes.org. Lovescenes.org. Some social media. It's all social um, media. It's all lovescenes. Love box. Yeah. Lovescenes box. Lovescenes yeah. box on Instagram and Let's Facebook. see. So which giveaway you want, Chantel? Come on, Chantel. You want the sex emoji card? You want the sex position card? You want the edible body paint? And she needs to get lunch How you know? <laughs> and then she needs to get lunch <laughs> <laughs> Who? Let me see. Who? Uh oh. I know who to give it to. Oh, size. Who size? You talking about my size? She said all of them. This one, <laughs> all of this one, man. Need to, first of all, we need to know what you're going to do with it first. Talk about some all of them. Pick which one you want and tell us what you're going to do with it. Earlier when you bent over. That was. He was doing the Listen. With some different sparkle shit. Listen. <laughs> I need to pull up my pants. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you your little, your little Louis, Louis belt belongs oh, on your waist. That's not. Too. Stack on the belt. I'm still stacking my pants. Okay. <laughs> if you speak different languages, they come in different languages too. Yeah. Let me see. So I did test out one of these games with uh, somebody that was messing with. Come on, y'all making this it hard. It was a lust game. And um, I'm going to tell Ooh, you. Yes, you yes, don't get the body. Ooh, I feel like right? they made yeah. us. We tried to, you know what? That was the reason. Away. I probably shouldn't have been playing games with the guys. Exactly. Because if I didn't play that game with them, I wouldn't have gotten much. You putting too much on these niggas. I do. You got you listen. You got a you are a, a professional sexer. Okay. 
<laughs> you can't. Do you, you see Michael Jordan out here hooping on niggas? You're right. He don't be just out on the street just hooping on regular stuff. Do you see LeBron just out here dunking on niggas at fucking Martin Luther King Park and shit? No. I'm going to get the right. word. You can't just pick up niggas from the club and then throw that shit on them and be like, what the fuck? And think the niggas is going to leave? No, nigga, you're a professional. They need to sign a contract to fuck with you. <laughs> you feel me? They need a, they need fucking to right. talk to your agent. Right. You feel me? You have agents. Right. Huh? Phone numbers to call. I press one. one. I said push, oh, push up. Okay. You feel me? Right. Come on, bro. I'm going to get the like word. Which one, right. Which one do you want, Chantel? Which one do you want? You got to pick what you want and then tell us what you're going to do with it. Elena said pink or black. Which one? You said the black, right, Mom? Yeah, yeah she, she said, said that's what I said. You gonna, you gonna get black. You get the black. I got black. Come on, why won't let me go down? Oh, there we go. Not too much niggas love that shit. <laughs> what, the paint? Well, then pick which one you want then. You want the cards? Niggas look so difficult. <laughs> What's one plus one? Are we doing calculus or addition? Uh-uh. Dog, nah, what I the can't. fuck is one plus one? You want the black. All right. Well, then, Elena, you're going to get the pink then. No, she was first. Why would she get the pink? What are you talking because about? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make this shit flow. I know, but Elena. Uh, I'm just trying to make this Elena, you already got the black. You already won the black. What are you talking yes, about? Yes, she was. Okay, cool. She won the cards. Woo. What you going to do with these cards? Get that wait, shit away. Wait, wait, cards. Oh, the card? It don't matter. Bro, we giving a card. We're going to give her a card? We're going to give her the position cards. <laughs> She's in all the other shit. <laughs> all right, Chantel, so you got the position cards. Lainey, you got the black lingerie. So we still have the we, body we, paint. We still got the body paint. And the sex emoji cards. And the sex emoji cards. The emoji and the pink card. lingerie. I don't, man. Hey, so you put this on for $1,000? Oh, so I remember yes. somebody asking me. <laughs> yes. I remember that. Yes, only $1,000. I remember somebody yes. asking me how I get into like these orgies and stuff. Yes, just I, 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 I know some places where they be doing my nigga be like, oh, they do an orgy in there. And I'm like, oh, you would never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how do you find the sugar daddy? Because I want one. So, sugar daddy, what the fuck? sugar daddy, I would recommend women to go to seekingarrangement.com. That's where I find all my sugar daddy. I want the one seeking that she has. Arrangement. Really just want me to talk to the woman. I want him. Yeah, seekingarrangement.com. Bro, do you know what sugar daddy. Say, And then, um, as far as oh. orgies are concerned, it's one of those like. She don't want to know about that. <laughs> Well, someone online might want to know about you can't it. Close your fucking ears, Deidre. It's like an underground system. You see that pink one? You see that pink one? That pink one looks like I know there was one right there. Do you know where, it's do you know where the, um... It can be what? It can be, it can be... It's, it's, it's a one-size-fit-all. One-size-fit? Okay, so you got the pink one then. It's just that one. Is hey, that do one. you know where, what's that movie theater? Rialto? Mm-hmm. What about it? Rialto hey, movie theater. Oh, it's just not, but the Rialto movie theater. Right there, you know, the back way where the probation office is, and you go to the back. Okay, are you familiar with we have to move there? No, I'm oh, not. but I'm putting you on Go since ahead. you're a sexologist. Go ahead. Okay, I'm, I'm, a, a new spot. I'm, I'm finding you a new spot. All right, while well, y'all listen to this new spot, I'm gonna need somebody to be there at this new spot. Yeah. <laughs> and people probably gonna be like, and hey, look, don't fuck. People gonna be like, oh yeah, I've never been there. The homie has been, and I actually sat outside when he went inside and like did whatever he was gonna do. Okay. This is the truth. Okay. Right there behind Rialto, you know, when you're going behind Rialto on the back, when you turn, not on the freeway, but you turn left. Going the back way and you go up and you can hit like Pan Bible type shit. Mm-hmm. Going back there, it's like a little club house, like a little club. And that's um, you know what I'm talking about, right? It's like a little club right there. Okay. Like, you know, it's a bridge with you. In this. <laughs> that place is where they do orgies at. Like full show. So if you're looking for an orgy spot, there you go. Oh, hold on. <laughs> wow. And and I know I know the exact directions. She said, do you, do, do you have toys? You do have toys, right? I do. I she does have toys. But we're not doing toys for the giveaway. Well, she says she wants, she's going to get the pink and she wants the sex emoji cards. It's a one thing. I know, but ain't nobody else. It's how I raise you want to do it. If you want to get one person. Yeah. Well, since we're giving shit away, let me just take that body paint. Kind of. <laughs> no, nah, you know what? We got some of the uh, body paste, and um, I put some on uh, like my girl nipples in, like mm-hmm. pussy and all that. Mm-hmm. I didn't like the way it tasted. Mm-hmm. The one we had, but it wasn't like that. It was in a jar. Mm-hmm. It was like a jar. So it's when you didn't like the way it tasted, it's you just like ah, or you wipe it off. Like what you? Hit. I just look at myself anymore. Yeah. 
I've had some good ones. I I've want some, two. Um, you want two of what? Drops, I want like two. Two what? Yeah, you know what? The candy thong. Yeah, my girl candy. had um the uh cherry. I forgot what well, it was. Look, man, a lady was cherry the only two. You might as well give everything to them. You can get it. One of y'all can get a lingerie. One of y'all get a card. One of y'all get a lingerie. And card. then you, you know what? Believe it or not, Facebook be having a lot of sex groups. They do. Facebook be having a lot of secrets. Oh, you're a sex expert. That's what you are. They be having you're a lot a of secret expert. chat rooms where, mm -hmm. where people, you know, share news and different things. AC like doesn't put me in because you got to be secret to get in a lot of them. You, you just get AC doesn't put me in the game. Put you in the game. No, nah, but with you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I did. So there's different, there's different groups, sex chat groups. Uh, it's all different types of. Do you do you run into these groups? like yes for whatever reason people just think of these little sex groups and just mm -hmm. add me into them it just, like, just like, add it it just add it it's crazy who counts this fashion you probably can sell that shit in there let me add Sasha into it huh you everyone, probably can you sell that shit in there Sasha she's an expert uh, that's her how to do it that's her how to do it like. Who knows? Sasha knows. Man, to be honest, like I'm in a lot of different sex chat groups. Uh -huh. It doesn't. We're needed in those. Doesn't even make sense how many chat rooms. Like I'm just seeing all, all types of vaginas and dicks. That's on, good. On you come to college, all of a sudden. I have a homegirl. She gets paid to rate guys' penises. Like they send her pictures of really? their penises, and she That's a job? she 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 writes like a whole little write up. What are you talking about? What? All right, we just give away this body paint. Stop Who that talk. With the body paint. We already gave it away. Who would do? And so selling oh, panties. Yeah. So I just That's you asked about That's unconventional. Right, y'all. Yeah, I asked about unconventional. Yeah, I asked about unconventional jobs. I mean, you think I used to sell my underwear too? Like the ones you wore? Yeah, Ooh. I used to like masturbate in them, come in and do whatever. And then sell, sell them. them. On eBay or some shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, the edible draws with the cream and shit already in them. With the okay, ah, the cream already. Yeah, with the, you, you feel me? You got the yeah. draw like when you bite inside a lollipop and it got the. Yeah, you can my hands. How much? Mmm, depends. Like, what's a Let price or something like that? So the most I I sold my pants was seventy five dollars, and um. With like, the shit already in there. Yeah, that had a little. Like, can you see it in there? Yeah, like I made sure my cum was in the line. And I mm. sent a picture of it, put it in a little Ziploc bag, keep the scent. In there. And then and now that yeah. I wow. sold I sold a lot of my panties. I like, my water at one point water. I was just going to Victoria's <laughs> Secret just to buy panties. <sighs> just to buy panties and and wear them. I mean and and men I me, men one thing I would say now, would I buy them no, but men smell women's yeah, drops. Yeah, yeah. We do that I all had day. One guy smell them. Who he you're gay if you don't smell he, women's drugs? He, he like, like, I, I remember I used to try to keep. Who was younger? Who was younger? Like, right? Where did you get it? We got it from Hobby the Place. We used to keep box full of panties. I used to listen. Keep it, King used to walk in my room. I was talking about the bachelor. You walk in my room. I had him shits on the sick. I remember that. I used to have you. I knew it. That's what I'm saying. I used to have him shits hanging up. I did have a dude who used to steal my panties. No, not stealing. They're not leaving without the pennies. Right. Yeah, what the so, that's like, stealing. That is stealing. No, they let me have them. If we're done after the session, I get up to look up for my drawers, and you got the first. You how many times? How many times? How many times have we had panties and we smelling? What do you mean, like yo, smell it? What it smell like? Now I got the gold. Nasty. Are you falling? Remember that time we smelled that girl shit and it stuck? Oh, that's what we get. That's what we get. That's what the fuck we got. And she said, hey. That's it. <laughs> <That's laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that was, that's a true story, though. Wrapping it up. Yeah. All right, well, Chantel, you got lingerie in the card. Elena, you got lingerie in the card. Who are you, are you taking this body paint or what? Yeah, we'll take the body paint. Okay, they're going to take the body paint experiment. All right, y'all. Yeah. Uh, anything else y'all want to talk about? Social media, what you got going on? Yeah, man, yo, my album out right now. You feel me? He You feel me? Uh, me and my dude, Red Boy, we just working on a new video called Throw It Up. And I'm talking about, but everybody know that Higgs Boson out right this second. Follow me on Instagram, fuck Facebook, at I'm Lil Aubrey. Yeah, Doug. Did you say it's fuck Facebook? I'm, I'm never on Facebook at all. Like, I actually just posted how much I'm on Facebook. It said 14 minutes a week. <laughs> all right, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Again. So, um, Instagram and Facebook is Love Scenes Box. And then um, the, website. the website is lovescenes.org. For all my writing and eroticas, if you want to read, if you like reading, it's blueframedgirl.com. 
and um, all my books are on Amazon. Uh, I do custom boxes. Um, do you customize your box? Like, do you? How do you shave it? What? That's, <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> Great question. Time, depend, I always ask a guy how they like it. Uh -huh. I, I get nasty. I'd be like, so how you like your pussy? You what, like what, it? what if he told you I like hair? I think he said, "Well, have you ever had a guy want to shave it for you?" Yes. I ain't shaving. And, and I am. I'm, Chop your lips off. I am down for anything. Oh, hold on. Let me say this. My girl just, you know, she's starting a business and everything and been oh, doing yeah. very, she's very she's well. So, oh, y'all yeah. make sure y'all go to johansdrays.com. Y O H A N C E D R E S S. Um, you know, my girl does all her hair. She sells her yeah. hair extensions and yeah. all that. I need you feel I'll me? I'm stupid. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm nah. already. She she so dope. Do my girl dope. Do so yohansdrays dot com. Y'all make sure y'all fuck with my girl. You know what I'm talking about? Hair gang stupid. You say her website. <laughs> say her website one more time. Yohans dot com. Y o h a n c e d r e s dot com. Also, you feel me? Y'all can fuck with me at low rb dot com. Y'all, that's all I already knew that. She a dope chick already, and I ain't even made her. Uh, say our social one more time. Uh, radioactive radioactive podcast on YouTube. Radioactive podcast on Facebook. Radioactive underscore podcast on Instagram. Correct? Correct. All right. Well, that will be it for today, guys, for the yeah, Sit yeah. and Be Fit Sets Talk. Mm, um, mm, mm, mm. Peace. <laughs> we out. I fart it. <laughs> I always fart. I was so hoping you were going to bring some toys because I wanted to see their reaction to me.